think they just have to time it right because I, the comedy they need that they can't just be Nolan the whole time because Nolan was a beast and they yeah. can't do the same Batman over. But I like that Batman. Oh, me too. But like, with the, I'm saying like but every, like but it, every DC movie can't be like that. Like Superman shouldn't be like yeah. that. Like Batman should be. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't guessed, this is a combo co- podcast. Um, I am Travis Snail of the Geek First podcast. Yeah, it's Far Cry. Sorry, nope. there's there's some what? Uh, that's not Far Cry. Yeah, it's Far Cry Primal. What? That's oh, it's, that's right. It is. Anyways, folks, I am Travis Snell, the Geekverse podcast. First of all, I want to thank Geekverse. Uh, they, they've let me do this. They know that I like to rant and rave a lot, and I've definitely needed like a good hour to two-hour podcast just to talk about comics because they watch quite a bit, but they don't read comics like weekly like me, and I just, unfortunately or fortunately for them, take things too in depth. But I'm also joined by... Uh, Liam. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's it's like in class when the teacher asks, "I uh, need a here." Yes. Uh, I need a I need a hard on. <laughs> Bueller. And Bueller. Also, Bueller. Yes. Yeah. And I, I guess I haven't even introduced this. This is the dynamic duo podcast. It's always going to be under the Geek Verse banner, so that's how you can still find us while they're searching Geek Verse Dynamic Duo. Um, probably mostly me and Liam will be doing this. Kyle's going to be around. Other people will be around, especially once Kyle gets into school. You might disappear for a little, a little, little while. <laughs> but um, first we'll just go around. I'll start with just as far as I got into comics. I think the tr- first thing was just seeing like the Batman animated show back in the day as a kid. And then just being like, oh, that's really cool. And then I remember my first comics were like just single issues of Batman and X-Men. Those were the, And those were my two favorite, like DC and Marvel. Like that's what I first got. And, uh, yeah, I just was ever hooked since then. I've just kind of been reading my whole life. I've never really had a lull. Um, Batman's my favorite. I guess I'm a Marvel guy. I don't like to try to pick a side, but I'm definitely a Marvel guy. I like more of the characters, but Batman's my jam. Like, he's, like, if I had to pick between Batman and everybody, Batman's the guy. So, first I'll throw it over to Kyle, because I am just talking. I can go into this. Kyle, and this is the reason I have him on and lots of other people on, is because with people like Iron Man and the Dark Knight, all these huge movies are coming out and they're getting people interested. And Kyle actually gave a few comic books to Like, he's a newbie. He's been, like, two years... He's, he's two years in two, since he popped years? his comic book cherry. Yeah. And I gave, what did I give you first? Uh, I believe it was The Killing Joke. Was yeah. that the one that you spilled the drink on? Oh, yeah. He, yes. he spilled on my, <laughs> my, 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 my 10-year-old Killing Joke, but it's okay. I, gotta get a new <laughs> I said one. I would replace it. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> it was hard coffee, too. So. But, like, what did you think when I, like... Gave you the comic, and then what do you think after? Like, were you like, oh, I'm really enjoying this, or were you kind of like, oh, I don't know if I'm gonna like comics the same as other people? Like, I was going into it, it's like, okay, I'll read it. Like, I'm, it's gonna kind of be a simple read, easy, and it's gonna be all right. I was blown away of how character development that was happening inside of it, and I thought it was just the coolest, yeah, uh, read. And uh, all I wanted to do was keep reading more and know what's going on with each character and what's happening. And, yeah, and just seeing that. The dynamic duo between um, Batman Hashtag and... dynamic duo <laughs> podcast. <laughs> Di- uh, t- between, it happens uh, a lot when you cast. Yeah. Like, yeah, this is not going to be any different than Geekverse. It's a very loose podcast. So if you're looking for, oh, on today's cast, no, it's still like, it's very free-flowing. We're just going to, we talk. And yeah. that's it. Happens. I thought between the Joker and Batman, like actually seeing that relationship between the two, like you see it in the movies for yeah. sure. But to like read about it and mm-hmm. see where the origins of where it all came from, it the was... comic book really gets a flesh out, especially that one gets yeah. a flesh out, and it's good like yeah. seeing Joker's backstory, even though yeah. you don't know for sure that's his backstory. The yeah. whole thing with his potential kid mm-hmm. and wife, and, well, yeah. and, and he has they have that scene. I, I can't remember where it is. It's been a while since I've read it, yeah. but the Joker tells a story about the two guys that are in the asylum and decide to break out. Yeah, and they're crossing and, and they're the crossing road. Crossing, and yeah. they, you know he goes, "I'll shine the light." And how do you know? You know, if I turn the light off. Will I just fall? Yeah. And I kind of it, it represents Joker and the Batman. How Batman's just as insane as the Joker, yeah. but in a different way, in a yeah. good way. Like in he's a good def- way, yeah. yeah. And because he he left and he maintains that sanity, whereas the Joker kind of embraces it. Yeah, and that's why I feel like people when they haven't read comic books, they don't understand that part about Batman that he is kind of like he's a fucked up guy. In the movies, like yeah. Nolan's were kind of like that, but still he still seems like, oh, I'm still doing good for my same one. But you in the comics you get to see him more like he's just such a like obsessive compulsive guy who just like has to do this, has to yeah. fight crime, like has to like won't kill this. Like he sh- I don't agree he should kill people, but if he got one person to kill, like 
it should be the Joker. Like, there's no, like, this guy should not be alive, but he yeah. just keeps him alive. <laughs> there's no and, redeeming qualities yeah. to the Joker. <laughs> like, if they said, okay, Bruce, you get one, it's easy the Joker. <laughs> yeah. Everybody gets one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And, like, and Joker's, like, time with Batman is my favorite character, but he should have been dead, like, so long ago, but it's just because he just has this weird, like, obsession and because also in the comics he kind of views that as his fault that it happened so yeah, yeah and well, there's so many sure. iterations of the joker too yeah mm-hmm. like it, and it fits and his character yeah and you can kind of keep milking him for stories yeah everybody can bring something new to him like even with uh yeah, it's not frank miller who's doing scott the snyder run. now yeah scott yeah. snyder uh with his his version of the joker he's not read any of that yet he's no, oh, very good like it's something we've seen before yeah but it's still really fresh and new so it's, it's a lot darker t- for some yeah. reason it's like well, I mean, it's it dar- his face off for god's sake yeah like it's darker in a, a weird yeah. way like he's not as jokey it's not like the heath ledger like it's just more dark like in these ones he kind of has like seems like almost like a vengeance plan sort of because mm-hmm. in the in one of the storylines he's like just sick of batman having sidekicks because he's just like i just want to be like you and me again like he's like yeah. an old girlfriend like, I hate <laughs> friend, like yeah. and that's what i love like there is like those parallels of like oh yeah like just get rid of them like you're better without the sidekicks like it's just you and me you know so just like the good old times yeah exactly and then after that i gave you long halloween and then i think after that you're pretty like hooked you're into yeah. the comic books that's, that's one i actually haven't read no, no you long have halloween to. Yeah. you get so bored from me one like it's, i own it's, it it's to me like the art style like when i was first getting into comics actually do you know how you're gonna remember this my first experience of comics was do you remember that play that i did in grade nine yeah you did the sound for it yeah and it was like it was a super bad knockoff of superheroes yeah. like oh. i played star guy which is oh more... yeah. yeah do you remember that yeah, yeah. yeah and uh your singing was on point it was not on point <laughs> it was it was <laughs> a musical actually <laughs> uh yeah and it was like i mean it was wombat girl was one of them like it was so it was about oh. a comic book artist who gets sucked into the uh, world that he creates it sounds like a cool plot it's not plot the new goosebumps <laughs> movie by the way <laughs> <laughs> pretty much uh, and yeah, and it was but one of the days she's like hey if anybody has any comics bring them in and I didn't have that many lines a day, and everybody had brought in a bunch of these comic books, so I just sat there reading them, and they're just one-off issues, like random ones that yeah. people had, whatever. That's how I feel people start. You never start yeah. with you. Well, mm-hmm. other than you, because like yeah. I like big comic book fan, but it, mm-hmm. as when you're young, you just get handed this like yeah. paper thin, like twenty-two issue, or like, like oh, Archie yeah. comics, like from yeah, the newspaper. And I was kind of like, oh, like this is really cool. And then I went to the Calgary Comic Expo when mm-hmm. I was in first year, mm-hmm. uh, about five years ago now, and that's I was like, oh, like I'll buy some. That's when I bought the Killing Joke. That's when I bought uh, Nightfall. Yeah, nice. so I was like, like I. I just kind of I got the Watchmen, so I kind of went there. Was like, I, I will admit, I use I think I used like Google. I was like best ten best comic book stories, and I just bought all of them. Yeah. And I was like, because like these are cool. It's something I want to get into. But the one thing about getting into comics is it's kind of hard. Where's your jumping off point? It's definitely daunting. Like it's it's good like not to like prop myself up, but it's good like with you when you had someone that reads yeah, comics. I feel like true. if yeah. you don't, and that's like I rem- I remember I worked with somebody that at Best Buy said the same thing was like, wow, like, I really, he, oh, he had just played Arkham City, and he was like, hey, I really like that, but I don't know how to start reading. And it's one of these yeah. things where it's not like mm-hmm. movies where there's one, two, yeah. and whatnot, like, and this where it's like, okay, like, read this one, this one, this one, it's good, and that's why I'm going to read The Killing Joke, because it's like, it's a good character study on both the people, mm-hmm. and yeah. that's, that's the, and same thing, like, I've told other people, like, read Batman Year One, when it's about his first year, like, there's certain ones I feel like you should start with and go from there, and like that's a good jumping point that I want to say um, and I said this on Geek First too but if you're a fan of like comic books or you want to get into comic books like Marvel is doing their reboot right now they're doing like they're all new all different so yeah. it started in November this I think this podcast will come out around January but still they're still in like first issues like the first issue a new Daredevil comes out in de- like December so it's one of those if you want to get into it now's the time and DC did that a few years ago so I feel like comics they know that's a problem that they know people it's hard to jump in but Mm -hmm. i feel it's just better to kind of what you did like back in the day and i did that too once i had my own money like which comic should i read Mm -hmm. and go from there because you can never really you're never really going to end up in a way to get a full continuity like unless you somehow win 50 million dollars and you can go buy batman issue one and read until now like there's no way really to jump in like what a spider-man has like before they they killed peter parker off like a year ago i think it was like an issue four like those oh, 500 yeah. 500 issues, like... And then, then for a while they had, like, Spider... And that's the problem, too, is they'll have, like, same thing with Batman right now. There's, like, five different Batman comic books that technically is about the same Batman, but it's all different writers. So it's, yeah. like, there's, like, oh, Batman, and then Batman and Robin, and then Batman New 52, and, and, and like... I think uh, DC does a good job with uh, remaining continuity between all of them. Yeah. Uh, but there's definitely some... Uh, I think Marvel's probably a little worse of this, and obviously I think that's why they reboot. Though. Yeah, and that's why I'm like I'm drawing a blank too, because just because you know we're sitting here talking, yeah, about continuity oh, yeah. between issues where like you're like what the 
what the hell's going on here? Yeah. Well, I think... I don't know what DC... Or with Marvel, I think it's because they just have so many characters that are yeah. going on. But I think... You should read a couple of their newer ones, like their new Deadpool one. That was all right. They the one, have a, uh, the l- last one they did with. Uh, he has like a suit on now, kind of. Is it like the very new one that they're doing, yeah. or the one that they just finished? The one they're just like it was no, it was issue number one. And it came out. Oh, like, okay, September. you know, I, I haven't, I haven't started those yet. Yeah, no, it, it's all right. And then like Drax has his own now, like just his own spin. Which one. I probably will, because the Groot and Rocket Raccoon ones were actually really good. Yeah, and CM Punk so, is writing the Drax ones. I've told you. Yeah. Before, oh yeah, so. that's yeah. There's been a couple good so far. I haven't got around reading uh wolverine they replaced wolverine with x23 who's a girl wolverine clone yeah. so i'll read it the only reason i think they're doing this is just because the rights and whatnot yeah. but but yeah so Liam, you already kind of talked about how you got into is, is there anything you want to add there as far as you getting into comic books or i guess you kind of told the story yeah oh well, i think the biggest thing that i think changed was growing up like it was still like even though like you still had like X one two and three and the first two Spider or first three Spider Man. It wasn't cool. Like, it, it wasn't cool. Now. Yeah, like it was. It wasn't shirts everywhere in Hot Topic cool. Yeah, cool. like if if you I did still it. enjoyed those movies though. Yeah, no, it, but we're saying like. But if you want to read the comics, there was almost a, still a bit of oh, ostracization yeah. growing yeah, up. Like true too. if you're the kid that read comics, you know. Like, now it's cool to read comics, where when, like, we read them, it was just, like, you did that. And I felt like, and this isn't to be sexist, but I felt like when we're, and I feel like it's changing now. Like, my sister reads comics and whatnot, but I feel like when you and I were young, it was just boys. Like, I don't, I don't think I ever bumped into a girl that read comics until I was in my, like, 1920s. Like, I was, I never bumped into a girl. And now, it's getting more Unless they read anime. All yeah, girls. yeah, but yeah. I mean, yeah, true, but never, and then, but then they'd say like that's all I read though. They don't yeah. dabble in anything else. Where now I feel like Marvel and DC people are open up to it because there is so many movies. But I feel like, and, and obviously this is also anecdotal. We're not saying girls don't read comics. Oh so. yeah, it's just the people we <laughs> met. And yeah. no, that's what I mean. Like you can meet so many people more now. Like my sister's age. Oh yeah, they're reading this or they're reading that. I'm like, oh that's awesome. But yeah. it's because of the movies. Yeah, it's and, like, and, and yeah, and it really, like, especially with I think it would be Phase Two Marvel, like. Not the first Iron Man, but when the second one came out and you had Captain America, everybody's like, oh, like, there's some good stories here. Yeah. And yeah. then people started to look at it as not like, it's not like, I mean, like, I play D&D too. It's not like D&D's looked at right now where it's like, ah, like, it's cool, but it's yeah. nerdy. Yeah. Until you get into it, you're like, wow, this is actually a really cool thing. Board games are going through the exact same thing right now. Yeah. Where people are like, oh, this is so much fun. Yeah. And there's so many cool experiences that you can have doing this stuff. Well, and I think, should. I, I just think it's, <laughs> yeah. I love board games. And I, I just think it's just a changing attitude towards it. That, yeah. Like, it is cool. And that we can talk about this stuff. Yeah. No, no, I agree. I was thinking about that today when we were thinking about just doing, like, this inaugural episode of, like, how far it's come to, like, now. Like, and, like, same thing. And as a kid, you did see it on backpacks and whatnot. But now it's just everywhere. Like, well, look yeah, at Iron Man. There, like, there's an age. Like, like, it was, like, like my uh, nephews, they, they're uh, both five years old. They love that stuff. Yeah. And it was cool until you're about, like, six or seven. And then it changed. It grew out of it, you know? yeah. And then, you know, it wasn't really cool until we were, like, 18, 19 again. Yeah. So yeah, no, and I feel like too. Even as a kid, like even stuff like going in an airport, I would be like the only one with a comic. But now I will walk by and see like many people reading them, you know. So it's definitely it's definitely accepted. But I guess like that's with anything. Like it's not the same thing. But you look at Twilight, like that gets big, and then people go and read the books that have it. And I think it's the same yeah. thing that. And I, I feel like, and I'm biased because it's my favorite movie of all time, but I feel like The Dark Knight had a big thing to do with that because that was the first movie to show, like, comic book movies can be for adults and not be just kids. And there's been yeah, movies like yeah, Blades and whatnot, but, like, no movie but, made that but money. Those that are, like, there. niche movies. Yeah, really. like, like vampire. Like, yeah, like, my parents are like, Blade, eh, we saw it, whatever. Yeah. Whereas, like, I can talk to my dad about The Dark Knight, and he's like, no, like, that was a great film, like, it was great story. Like, yeah. You, you actually have emotionally invested. I think DC's done that a bit better. Yeah. Because Marvel does keep the light and air. Yeah, they're obviously making more money, and they have a way better track record. Oh, yeah. But with, like, the Nolan... Batman. I think it was like, it was something else. That's why my all always my problem with DC is I just don't know if DC will ever be able to do that with any character but Batman. I feel like Batman they can always make a really good like adult film, but it's like the rest of them. Like and Man of Steel, that was their chance, and I guess it's an adult movie, but people didn't walk away being like that was Amazing. Dark Knight level. Yeah, yeah, it was like I remember I fell right. asleep. Well, that I literally that ending. Asleep. That ending is what. When he killed them, or just in general? Oh, well, just him killing innocent people. Kind yeah, of. Yeah, like him just destroying all of New York. Yeah. And you're like. Oh yeah, it was like up to that. I was like, I was into it. I'm like, Metropolis, I th- you mean? I, I <laughs> fake city. Oh yeah, sorry, yeah, Metropolis. <laughs> like I, I think I watched that like hung over on a Sunday, like on like VOD, and like the first half, I was like, wow, this is it. We're getting a Superman the way he should be. Yeah, like yeah, it's and he's and you're right. Yes, Batman's dark and brooding, and I think Pat Oswalt has said this a bunch of times too. 
Yeah, leave that to Batman. Yeah. Because Superman's not dark and brooding. And, and he can have, have dark moments in his movie. Oh, yeah. Like, that dream can... sequence could have been dark when he, like, has oh, that dream yeah. about skulls. But, like, the whole movie shouldn't be, like... And I don't even mean, like, dark as far as just the tone. I mean, as dark just even, like, the film of it should not... Yeah. Like, it looked... The movie looks so dark. Like, yeah. yeah. And true. so, but I was like, wow, this is good. And then you get to the end and you're like, he's killing people. And, like... And yeah. Accidentally, but he's, well, he's accidentally, killing but he's still doing it. And it's like, city, and yeah. it just seems just like, wow, like, you did all that. And then, like, you get to the end and you're just like, ah, we can probably cut corners here. Yeah. On, it, on his, you know, his character and his mythos. But uh, I think what... Well, you know, you ever see that in like the new the, or Batman vs Superman? They're, I, they're sticking with the gritty. But I was That's, gonna, they're trying to be like the the yin to Marvel's yang. Well, that was my favorite thing. I can't remember who. Oh, I can't remember who said it to Marvel, but someone took a sh- oh the guy is playing Aquaman. I think I don't know. I can't remember, but someone took a shot at Marvel saying Call like Drogo. they're making like just popcorn movies and whatnot, blah blah blah. And the guy who plays Winter Soldier, Sebastian Stan, had this great line. He said, "Oh, I'm fine making these movies as long as we don't make Nolan knockoff movies." And it was like the biggest like <laughs> mic drop ever. Like, <laughs> yeah, and then, like shut up, Aquaman. Yeah, we'll give you the right to talk. <laughs> if it wasn't you, Jason Momoa, I apologize if you hear this. I just thought it was you. Like I, I, I'm on your side too. I like them both, but like um. No, I, I don't mind the dark and brooding and the greenness. I don't mind it for Batman Superman because Batman's in the movie, but I just hope not every movie, which that's what I feel like it's going to be. Like, you look at yeah. Aquaman. He looks cool. Have you seen a picture of Aquaman, Kyle? No, I haven't. He looks no. good. But he looks good, but he looks dark again, right? He's yeah. super... They got super, super buff guy, Jason Momoa. He has yeah. tattoos all over. He has yeah. long dreads. Well, first season of Game of Thrones. Oh, Have Colorado. you seen Game of Thrones? No. Yeah, that's... What? that's. I knew he didn't see it, but anyways, he's just... Yeah, we got to stop the podcast. <laughs> in the first five seasons. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not into that medieval stuff. Yo, so did you like Lord of the Rings? It was good. I'm gonna come it's... across this table, Kyle. <laughs> I'm I'm fine. I like Game of Thrones, but I wouldn't rec. I I don't. I wouldn't recommend. It's not my favorite show. I like it, but oh, their season last season yeah. was really good. But it had its moments. Few seasons I've been like, oh, I think I'm done. But truthfully, what I've been doing lately is like I'll wait four episodes and watch them together because yeah. one at a time for me. I think that was. And fair I feel enough, like it's not their fault because they're following the books, but there's so many times where there's so much death on the show. I know people are like, oh, it's cool when you get killed off, but I feel like the writer did a lot for like shock value at times. Like there's times yeah. where I don't like, I don't mind if a character gets killed off every once in a while they don't get to finish the story, but I feel like all the characters they kill off so many times they like have so much more storyline to go. Well, it almost kind of feels like The Walking Dead sometimes. Like, yeah, well, you know when somebody gets issue. a monologue? And you're like, oh, they're dead. That's oh, I know. It. This season, they, I this know. is their it's last like, show. Oh, I love. It's like if uh, you have seen Breaking Bad, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. that's that. That's oh. it. Yeah. And like, he looks cool, but it looks yeah. super dark, right? Oh, okay. So it's one of these things of like, I'm also fi- like, he also has his tribal tattoos and that. Yeah. And I find it interesting that that's what they're going for, as opposed to you know, like, you know, Johnny Ranger that most stereotypical white guy they could find. I think that's why comics. they did it because if you yeah. look at Aquaman, he's like. Blonde ginger guy in orange costume, yeah. like they blonde want him... ginger guy. No, like he goes back and forth between blonde oh. and ginger. Like that's what okay. I mean. Like yeah, he's not blonde. Yeah, <laughs> one half ginger. He's actually blonde. like mystique. He just switches. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, but I think that's why. So I'm hoping it's just because Aquaman they made him like that because it's like you're gonna get the jokes. Like he's their Ant Man, and okay. Ant Man's not even that bad. But like Aquaman is definitely like their joke. But that, like, did you read the new? No, Aquaman I haven't. Stuff? You've told me about this. Like, I, I have the first two like collected issues, whatever. And they, they really surprised me. Yeah. Because the first like, and six or so, Momoa they make, said they're taking yeah. that. They're well, they make fun of Aquaman. Like, Aquaman's like, I'll save you. The guy's like, yeah, no, we're good. We'll yeah. wait for another superhero. And he's like, kind of standing <laughs> there like, are you serious? Yeah. Like, and so I, I think that kind of like tongue in cheek that, yeah, okay, uh, Aquaman's kind of in the past been stupid, but let's reinvent him to be actually cool. Yeah. And his powers are not just, like, I can tell a bass to go save somebody. Like, yeah. And I hope it's a cool factor, not just like, oh, I'm gritty and I'm moody and, like, I hate my, like, life as an Aquaman. Like, mm. we'll see. But, um, what was I going to say? Something um, about monologues and Breaking Bad. Oh, Breaking Bad. Yeah, it was the same way, like, spoilers. Pause for a second. Skip two minutes ahead if you don't want to hear. But it's the same thing when, like, um, but Hank like finally catches Walter and he has yeah. to call Marie and he gives like this five minute thing yeah. of like how much he loves her and you're like well he's a goner like it's yeah. it's, it's that I can't re- I think I don't know what show like in it's prime back in the day Dexter was really good at killing off characters when you didn't really see it coming like main characters like it would just happen like oh they just parked their car and they just got shot and it was like and The Wire but if anyone's seen The Wire yeah. that was really good for that too like I think there's a time for monologuing but it, it, you can't do it all the time well you should have done that for Glenn what? In Walking Dead. 
No, the, like, I know you haven't read the comics, but yeah. uh, the way that Glenn dies in the comics oh. is like if they you didn't, you, you got to throw up a spoiler. Everybody knows that. Not right really now. a spoiler. Yeah. Like you said, two minutes for a spoiler. Oh, yeah, okay. that's true. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the way that he goes out yeah. is so iconic and so drives forward the next villain's plot and really? Rick's plot and all of Alexandria. Oh. Like it's like yeah, she's okay. gonna drop. Negan's like, really cool character. Yeah, the one thing that like uh, I love him almost like so Robert much Kirkman. I think is doing a really good job because yeah. every time, <laughs> well, I mean. It's I'm, I right? go back. Yeah, I liked the. Um, I can't remember. Do you remember the guy's name who ran the show for the first like season and a half? Yeah, I liked Frank his. Tarabon. Yeah, I liked his style well, a lot better. But I mean, I mean, just, just talking about the comics. Oh yeah, no, yeah, I, uh, that's what I mean. It's not terrible. I just liked his style better. But I still, mm-hmm. I see what, like, you, anyway. what he's done is like you have like you know villain A and you're like wow that is sick and then you get villain B and you're like wow villain A was kind of a pussy yeah. and then you get to villain C and you're like holy god that yeah. and then you get you know you get to the uh, yeah. the next villain that they're gonna show in the show and you're like wow they it, you can't you can't go from there but he still does it yeah. and he keeps at it and like he's just I don't know how he's doing it like I don't even know if he's like plagiarizing from something like yeah. he has a secret manuscript yeah. that he's taking these ideas from but all his characters are so well written yeah like a lot of, uh, you know because it's it's been where well, I feel like for a that's while. where the show doesn't always hit the well, yeah, especially on the with the women's characters. Like, yeah, that, well, that's my big thing about Jessica Jones. It drew me in. I was like, wow, this is one you of have the a first smart, times. Sexy, strong, comedic character that never relies on the yeah. guys to help her, and, and she's not. She yeah. that's what I hate when people write like, oh, this girl's gonna be a badass. She's just a badass. She can't be funny. She can't be cute. Like. Yeah. You yeah, should write a, a woman like character. a real woman. Like they have, like a guy has different like levels. You can't just be like mm-hmm. just badass. Like, and that's what I did like about the second Captain America, where Black Widow was a badass, but she was still like flirting with Steve and kind of jokey. Like, yeah, like, and like it, it and was Marvel's good at that. And like. and she never relied on the fact that she's a woman, mm-hmm. and and she's a tortured character without it. Like it's not cliche. Like when I watch that, and credit to the actress too, uh, yeah. whose, whose name escapes me, but uh, Kirsten Ritter. Yeah, that yeah. Yeah. And like Breaking she bad. like she yeah. just did a phenomenal job of like I I believe that. Yeah. And like yeah. also like I, I don't know if you saw this too, but like once she goes in that uh bar in the very first episode and she meets the bartender, maybe a slight spoiler, and it's Luke Cage. Like right away I was like, Oh, it's Luke Cage. Yeah. Without even like they didn't need to do it. And I also like that they that's another show. They don't have monologues. Like that's it poor writing natural, when you need yeah. monologues to express the, all the uh intense of your characters and why they do what they do that's bad writing yeah. it can it can be shown and let the audience figure it out yeah you need that exposition every once in a while but you, not all the time yeah no i i really like it like and i don't like i don't know there's some people that be like oh like she has like sex in the first episode with like luke cage and whatnot it's She's like i don't think railed by luke cage but i don't think that hurts her at all because <laughs> <just> it's wait <laughs> i don't think that hurts her at all because it's like no one would say shit if that was a guy. If it was a guy hero and he had sex with a girl for seven, just be like, man, he's cleaning up, cool guy. But if a chick <laughs> just has like a one night stand, it's like, oh, that's not woman power. Like that, it's like, no, they can go there and have a one night stand too. Like if you don't know that, like women do it all the no, time. No, not with Luke Cage though. He apparently always gonna not. get you keep coming back. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, and, well, that's that actually like that shocked me. Like I was sitting on the couch with my girlfriend and like that came on. And I was like, holy crap. And they did anal too, like subtly. Did they? Oh, I, that's true. Oh, I guess Because in the right. comics, they were the first couple ever in all comics to do anal. Oh, But that yeah. was... And I was just surprised <laughs> that Marvel was letting uh, their TV shows... Oh, yeah. Because, like, you look at Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., and, oh, my God, like... I mean, I'm not a huge fan of that show to begin it's with, but... It's kind of cheesy. Yeah. yeah. It is, but and I like, like it. Yeah, like, it's... <laughs> like, it's, a, it's like, oh, I need to go to sleep tonight? I'm like, oh, let's put some... Agents of <laughs> yeah. Especially when it's on Netflix, it helps. You just watch it. Oh, yeah. 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 But like, I was like, okay, like it'll be late. Like, oh, she's a darker character, but they won't. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, that is graphic. It's funny. The same way we watched Daredevil, that was the same reaction I had because the show's the reverse where there's, I don't think there's any sex really. There's not. But I heard there's like, a lot of violence. That's what I said. Yeah. There's a lot of violence. And I was like, wow, they're doing this. But I still felt like, okay, they can do this. The sex for me, I knew there was rumors that there was going to be it, but just for almost that, like, you'll see it gets more graphic. But like, the fact that it happens, I was that surprised me. Like, like, cause violence is violence. That happens yeah. all the time. But the sex, like, like a spoiler, like a girl gets eaten out at one point. Either it's kind of like, in like Daredevil? simulated. No, in Jessica Jones. Okay. Jessica Jones. And like it, it just boom. Yeah, it just Holy happens. Level. You have no idea. And it's like, and that's the same thing. If you think about it, at the end of the day, yeah. this show is a Disney show. It's produced and <laughs> and it's just one of these things. Like they have such balls to do that, and that's where 
I love that's where even everything else that's where I still love DC but that's where I'm always in the Marvel camp of they're just doing so much right like everything yeah, even I mean, stuff that's, that's like true. maybe Age of Ultron that not everyone loved it's still like a really good movie like yeah, yeah, their the missteps thing. are not man of steel missteps we're like oh that was that was tough to get through where it's like that was still fun like this happened it's like oh I didn't like that or I didn't like that but it's like Marvel I don't think has yet to have a Terrible. T- I think Iron Man two was really close to being really bad. And you know, Thor I've, honestly, two, I've never liked. Uh, I like Thor two. I never liked any of the Iron Man. I like the half of Thor two. The first half is great, and then the second Loki's gone. I'm like, it's not good. The villain yeah. was so poorly written because he's just like, yeah, which is shame because Malekith is a great villain. Yeah, I don't like any villain who's just like, I want to destroy the world. And it's like, why? It's like, cause. And it's like, oh. yeah, I, th- I, I, <laughs> I, I do, I do cool. think good yeah. reason. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cool Hansel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cool story, Hansel. Yeah. Yeah. You've seen Thor too, right? Um, I don't think so. Not many people have surprised. I've asked this yeah. a lot. People are like, no, I didn't because there wasn't anything that looked like you need to, see, but still, did well, great you know what's money. Funny? Once I saw Malekith, mm-hmm. I was like, I'm in. Like, yeah. I love Thor, and I love the new run that he's in right now, or was in, then it was Lady Thor, and now it's, like, Thor Battle World. It's all is, over, Which yeah. is weird as fuck, but... Wait, was it Thor 2? That was the one where he goes back to Earth, and, yeah. like, finds yeah. his... Oh, okay, no, I did yeah. watch it then. You it was, did or didn't? I did, I'm yeah. pretty sure I watched yeah. it. Okay, so as somebody that doesn't read a lot of comic books, yeah. uh, can you tell me what Malekith was? Yeah, he's an elf. <laughs> well, he's a dark elf because yeah. there's, there's there's two different planes yeah. like on Yggdrasil, like the world tree. Yeah. So there's the dark elves and the light elves, and the dark elves are badass. Mm-hmm. They like you know the ice giants. They enslaved those guys. Yeah, and like it was like wow, he was this really cool Malekith because he's not Thor's equal. He's better than Thor. Yeah. Thor has to team up with his little not band of merry men. Mm-hmm. Well, so that's the thing, and then it kind of made him. It kind of brought him down to Thor's level, and like he's so incredibly smart, and he's also a gifted uh, wizard or magician, depending on yeah. what run you're reading and what terminology they're using. Yeah. So I, but other than that, I, I didn't, I didn't hate it. Like I quite enjoyed it. I didn't hate it. Either, I also like Thor, so it's. I like Thor too, but I guess it was my problem is I just love Loki so much, and I feel like that first half of the movie he just stole it, and I love yeah. Thor too, but like they didn't give Thor much development where Loki, you got to see that whole like my favorite scene in Thor is when. The mother gets killed and he comes down and Loki's acting like super cool and just like nonchalant and then like Thor sees through and he's like, oh, turn your charade off or whatever. And then when the charade goes down, Loki's like ripped clothes and he's bloodied and he's been like mad. It was one of these things where it's like, even yeah, though he's this yeah. guy that kind of wanted to not destroy the world, rule the world, he's still like, his mother died and it like tore him apart. And that's where it's like, those are my favorite villains. And that's what I was going to say. That's the only thing I think DC might have over Marvel they do it right is I think Marvel, other than Loki and the... Netflix series like yeah. Kilgrave's really good yeah and um, yeah, surprisingly Kingpin was surprised not surprised I just said because you said surprised <laughs> but Kingpin was phenomenal in Daredevil because yeah. he was the same thing you'll see like he's the same thing where like you know his motives and they're not out of reasons it's not like oh I just want to take over Hell's Ch- Kitchen because I'm a rich guy it's like oh because I could actually change this and like it's mm-hmm, a Lex yeah. Luthor thing and other than like those two and Loki the rest of the villains in Marvel have been like really forgettable like I think Iron Man, all of them, like Jeff Bridges is a good actor, but Iron Monger was really nothing. Yeah, and it, it kind of was... ruined the Mandarin three. Like the twist, Th- that was brutal. Yeah. The twist, you whether it was good or bad, it doesn't matter. That character's gone. That's my problem. Well, I, see, like, I like the idea of the twist, but the way that it was done was like they maybe should have used a different character, yeah, not like, Mandarin. And you brought in Ben Kingsley, yeah. and then made him be some. Like a parody of yeah. a crappy street actor, and like that, like, and that was it was so awkward. I remember we, I saw it with you, Kyle, and probably some other friends. I remember it was that awkward moment because the scene is actually funny of Ben Kinsley when he's drunk yeah. and he's like, "All oh, right," and it was that awkward thing of like, "I don't like this, but I do it at the same time." That's why that twist. I can't say <laughs> I can't say hate it because the twist is ballsy of like yeah. they got us, but at the same time you're kind of like, "Oh, but that was so much cooler." And, the, and Guy's Pierce character was so underdeveloped, and he didn't really come in until no. the third act. No, and, and he was. Like, good oh, with now what? I, yeah, now I gotta care about this guy? Yeah, and that's been my... And I'm trying to think, like, Thor... Who was the film in Thor? The first, oh, I guess it was Loki, so... Right. And they had, like, the um, Frost Giants, which were fine. They're just big guys. Well, that wasn't in the first one, was it? What? Yeah, and they had the Frost Giants, remember? Because Loki's plan was, like, to kill them all to make it look like he, like, saved Asgard, remember? See, I, th- I thought, I thought like, the big... Was that before the big battle with, like, Liberty Avengers? Prime? With who? With the Liberty Prime-looking robot. With Destroy? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Was that, that, oh, was Thor, that was the first one, yeah. Thor was the only one knew, that oh, knew Loki yeah, was sorry, doing yeah, that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then same thing with Captain America. You have one of Marvel's greatest films of all time. Kyle, you've seen the first Captain America? 
No. Okay, I was going to say... Yeah, you're not missing much. <laughs> no, it's fine. Watch it one day. But, like, yeah. the same thing, Red Skull, you've never read him, but, like, he's one of the best villains mm-hmm. of all time, but it's yeah. just... And they had Hugo Weaving, one of the greatest yeah. actors of all time this generation. Have you seen Matrix? Yeah. He's got to play Mr. Smith. Oh, okay. So yeah. he was the villain in Cap. So it was like oh, really? all this casting and all this news is like, this is going to be great. This is going to yeah. be like their Joker. And then nothing. Like, it's just same thing of like, I want to destroy the world because like, I, like, I, I'm a pseudo different yeah. Nazi. Like in, in, Skull, in comics, he wants to destroy the world, but it's more layered. And he's just so, he was really cheap. That was in Marvel when he's monologuing. He's just like yeah. the classic villain. Like, I'm going to do this to you. I'm going to, oh, your bones are breaking. Like that. That's just like, and it sucked because, it, yeah, the, I guess the only other one Marvel's done all right with is Winter Soldier. But he's not going to be a villain for any longer. So it's kind of like, yeah, he was a cool villain. He's, he's going to take over for uh, Chris Cap, Evans, eventually. is he not? Uh, yeah, eventually he yeah. should, yeah. Because so, I think he has like nine more movies, and Chris Evans is done after this one, if I'm not mistaken. He's mistake. done after War, I think. But like, yeah. they could be lying. Maybe there's a flashback if he dies in Civil War. So people seem to think he'll die in Civil War. But yeah, that I, was I, you know, Sebastian Stan. I'm really down with that. I'm not ready for it yet. I say wait a <laughs> bit more. I say kill him in Infinity War. Cap it off, like... Because remember, Infinity War is gonna be in two parts. What a what a good way to end part one than killing Cap and people be like, oh shit! Like if it's a Lord of the Rings thing, imagine if part one Cap dies and like Thanos is just staying over with him. The sword dropping. Like, no, no, no. Like, but like, <laughs> no, but that'd be kind of fun though. And that'd be a good guy though. Because <laughs> if you think of all of them, um, what was the other one? Um, Hunger Games. What was the other one that did of like a part one that was really bad? People didn't like. Oh, pro- uh, the Hobbit did an extra three. Well, yeah, that. But uh, that's its own thing. Harry Potter, Deathly Hallows. Oh yeah, same yeah. thing. People say like part one, it, like it sets a story that's not that good. Same with Hunger Games. I did not like that part one Hunger Games. I still haven't seen part two because of that. Because I was just like, oh, that really? was like. See, I actually I didn't mind the first Hunger uh, Games. But either way, like it's not well received by everybody. Oh, yeah. And yeah. I mean, it was no, it was not good by any means. But I enjoyed it a lot more. Than did the first one. That's where they, with Marvel, I think with that part one Infinity where they have to do something where it's like it ends with not like you're being like, oh, like I just want to see part two now. Like you it, you mm-hmm. want to see it, but not in a way like, oh, I didn't need to see this. Like that's where I think they should kill off Cap. Because imagine Cap gets his, this wouldn't happen, but Cap gets his head chopped off and they're just like totally like Captain America's dead in front of you. And that's how it ends. It'd be so doom and gloom and it'd be good. But you know what I kind of hope, hope they do is because I mean, in the next like four or five years, we're getting. A ton of movies. Oh, like, too many. I mean, it's too like, many. It we have is. seven, which were our main topic. We'll talk about in a little bit. But there's seven comic movies coming. Yeah, out and I year. almost kind of want them to, after they do Infinity Wars, take like a a big break. Well, know what they're doing though? They're going back. They're doing like a Black Panther solo movie and a Captain Marvel solo movie. So that might be the no, best. Like, I know of, that, like, but I mean, like after they do a break in general. Yeah, and they then, won't. What, but what they I don't want that money so much money yeah, yeah well, that's, that's, that's why. and I but I don't want them to get to the point like, another part of Disney yeah oh my god theme and, parks kids toys yeah. you got to sell that yeah stuff. but see like, I was looking to go to Disney with my girlfriend and they they have this age restriction on the Jedi Academy and Marvel Academy oh that no. sucks right <laughs> I, I'm 22 I want to be a Jedi like that should be an adult one <laughs> yeah and like for adults not like not like not like an X X X adult one I mean just 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 for for normal yeah but I just don't want them to go into that territory where all of a sudden it's like okay like we're tired of this like I'm already getting a little bit of fatigue because there's so many coming out and like it's almost kind of overwhelming and I don't want to get to the point where I'm like oh god I never movie I got I'm not go at see. that point yet I don't know I think I, I messed up that way I don't know if I'll ever get to that point because I love comic books yeah. so much mm. I think it's no I don't know if I I don't this year 2016 will be the test because there's seven comic book movies and that'll be the test it's been the biggest comic book like year ever so yeah. that'll be the test of like if like, I get what a tired year too. Mm-hmm. Like, like plus the Warcraft movie Star Wars yeah. New Power uh, Rangers <laughs> oh it's New Power Rangers too like yeah. it's like man like I'm just like sitting over here Finding just, Dory like man if 12 year old me could see me now he'd be losing it yeah he'd be like you're about to lose him a lot but of money but I completely agree with you getting tired of all like especially after watching the Avengers. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, another Iron Man. Oh, another Thor. Like, you're, yeah, it's kind well, of because you didn't even go see Ant Man because you're like, no, I'm not really. Into yeah, it. I didn't go see Ant Man. Was the only thing out. You'd be like, yeah, totally. Yeah, because right? it's like that's a thing. Oh, I, like, oh, I just I saw just Avengers. Avengers. And, then, and then it's like so. Like even like now, my problem with Age of Ultron was. Uh, I think it could have been a lot better if he didn't have to set up Infinity Wars and he didn't have to set up, uh, you know, the next Captain America. Yeah. Uh, and it didn't have to set up this and this well, and it's this. It's tough because I feel the same way too, but then at the same time I go, like, I, I try not to think like that. Like, I do totally, but then I feel like I'm a hypocrite because comic books do that too. Like, they, yeah. that's my problem of, like, I complain about, but I'm like, 
oh, my whole years of reading comic books, they're <laughs> always setting up for the next thing. So it's one of those things, like, I, I agree with you. I think there's certain ways you can do it. I I feel like the Soul movies can set stuff up. Yeah. I feel like I don't like when the Avengers movies do too much. Like, yeah. I liked Avengers 1 the most because it was just felt like you could watch that and not see any other ones. It would help, but it yeah. was just a solo thing. Where yeah. if Age of Ultron was like, oh, we got like these gems and this and that going, and Thor's going to go take a weird bath for some reason. Like, <laughs> yeah. Well, pieces off. But, yeah, but even that. Just yeah, the so, movie. So, Kyle, so. you've seen it, right? Uh, Age of Ultron? Ultron? Yeah. yeah. What is Vision's powers? Visions? Yeah. Yes. Can you tell me who Vision is? Yeah, I was about to say, you have to remind me. <laughs> He's like the robot that they create. Yeah, he Jarvis. He's Jarvis, and he has the gem in his oh, hand. Oh, that looks really like, cool. And it was like, and like, I, I like Vision. I like that addition. But because they kind of spent time doing He's that. like the dark I felt like, Jarvis? Yeah, in a oh, way. The you purple know, Jarvis. I promise kind of like a Martian Manhunter. Yeah. But, uh, that's always goes I mean, back that's, and forth. That's yeah. another thing. Yeah, he's like, but, uh, oh, like we have to kill all human race or something. Yeah, like they should have spent no, the no, time. No, no, he's fine. No, he's just like... No, that's Ultron. Yeah, that's Ultron. <laughs> oh, okay. He's a good one. He's one in a yellow cape. And he lifts Thor's hammer, remember, in the movie? But see, that's yes. but that's that, that's a, not a good thing of like people that don't read comic books. For us, it's like, oh yeah, Vision, but someone that doesn't can barely yeah. remember Vision. And that's because yeah. they crammed him in. And that stuff I don't like. It was... Don't get me wrong. It was so cool to see him. It was like, oh, awesome, Vision. Yeah. And it's one of those things that's like in the moment, it's really cool. But then like months later, you're like, that could have been done better. You know, it's like, mm-hmm. and that's Well, because like, they didn't really get a chance to explain him. But he has cosmic powers and but, that's yeah, it. Yeah, and like, I mean, they're going to get to the point there. Like, man, when uh, Ant-Man and Star-Lord get there, like that, like one liners, or it's going to be like, that's the whole movie. Yeah. The point. Like there's so many of them. Well, Iron Man's like, in Civil War, so. I just, I, I almost just wonder if it's going to be like, we're almost going to get too many people. In it? Uh, I think for Infinity War, they have to do that, but I think after, yeah. they don't do it again for like 10 years. I think Infinity War, because in the comic books, did you ever read Gauntlet? Did I give it to you? I probably no. haven't, because I don't want you to be spoiled, so yeah. I haven't. It's but real it's, good. Infinity Gauntlet, you don't want me to be spoiled? No, like, spoil the story of Infinity War. Like, I don't want you to know what's going to happen. But I want to know what's going to happen. Well, yeah, but it's well, only two years away. Honestly, once the Millennium Falcon comes in. I can wait two years. <laughs> yeah, but no. I'll just keep rewatching Star Wars. It's, You're going to be okay. Yeah, it's basically Thanos. <laughs> I'm only going to cry opening night. Yeah. It's okay. It's Thanos versus like every hero in man. So that's why I'm fine with it. I think just after that, if they do that all time. <laughs> but I don't think they will. I think because Downey probably will be done soon. So yeah, so then they'll Evans have to go through a recast. will be done. And... Or I don't want them to recast. I think Iron Man should just disappear for 10 years. Well, see, and that, that's what I'm saying. Like, when you get to that point, it's too soon to start recasting everything. Like, look, how many Spider-Mans have we had in 10 years? Just three? No. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. That's the thing. Just three. <laughs> yeah. Like let's, like, let's ease up here. Yeah. Like, let's give a break so that when they go to do it, because they're always going to compare to these old movies, but let's make sure it's out of the current memory. Yeah. Where, like, even with the new Jurassic Park, now, I have a lot of problems with that movie, yeah, but like, you, can, you can just be like, okay, like, it was, it was good. Whereas if that was a direct sequel to the first Jurassic Park, and it's in your head, and it would come out a year after, you'd be like, what the fuck? Yeah. yeah. Well, my thing is with Iron Man, I don't mind them recasting eventually. I just don't want them to recast when, like, let's say, Evans, Hemsworth, and, jo- like, Scarlett Johansson are still around. Yes. I feel yeah. If you have the entire same cast, and then you have, like, new Iron Man yeah. guy, I feel like that's <laughs> super awkward. And it would take me out of it, because the whole time you're like... That's this not isn't it. Yeah, this yeah. isn't him. Where I feel like they should do like ten years later and just be like, "There's a new Soul Iron Man movie coming, and it's just like Iron Man, and it's a new actor playing yeah. him, and then maybe get him back." Because well, even look at Quicksilver. Like, yeah. And like, and that's the worst part is they're being compared right now, and Sony clearly did a better job with Quicksilver in Days Fox. of Future Past. Fox has X Men. Oh yeah, sorry, yeah. Fox, Fox. Yeah, yeah. thank God. Compared so. to what uh, Aaron Taylor Johnson. Yeah. Well, and his, it sucks for him. Yeah, and it's <laughs> not that it's not that he was necessarily bad. Yeah. It's just it was so much better. Uh, through through uh, Days of Future Past. That was so, the best part. Day. You saw, yeah, Days yeah. of Future Past. That was the best part. With the okay, so I actually story. have a question about that. Yeah. Uh, a little digression. So at the end of the last Wolverine movie, he gets his adamantium claws chopped off, so he goes back to bone claws, but then in Days of Future Past, he has his adamantium claws They again. say that Magneto just, like, expanded, and they just never shot it. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're like, just like, fuck it. I'm going to need to spend $20 funny, on that. Just to, like, say. prep for this, I was, like, kind of, like, going through all the movies again, and I was like, wait... How the hell did he get his claws back? That's what they say. So it's just kind of one of those write-off things like, okay, cool. Like, yeah, just like, shut, shut up, nerds. Yeah, yeah, like, exactly. Like, we don't have time to follow. That's why Samuel Jackson has a purple lightsaber too, nerds. Yeah, we don't, we don't have... <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I'm really worried. I just thought I was not sure that anyone was going to be nerds. So I was like, man, like, cop can drop that, but we can, man. But anyways, as far as the refresher movie, that was going to be our main topic today. We've talked about it, like, a few times already. 
And what I want to do is just go by, and we're just going to talk about each movie coming out. Because when this comes out, it'll be January. It'll be the new year. Already in February, we'll be the first one. Which I won't talk about yet, because I kind of have a list of ways I want to go. We're going to talk about Batman vs. Superman first. Because as we record this, this is pretty current to when the trailer got released. So it's the most fresh on our minds. So that comes out uh, March... Confuse the audience. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, That comes out March 25th. And that, because it originally was supposed to come out, imagine this, it was supposed to come out the same day as the war originally. What? Yeah. That would have been bananas. That would have been, but it would have been dumb for them. Like, that's but, like a DC out. Marvel fanboy for, fight in a movie lobby would be the greatest thing I've ever seen. For me, it would have been great, because I would have just went there to there. But here is our good way of starting the conversation. What would you guys have seen first? I, so I would have saw in Batman vs. Superman. Even after the trailer? Even after the trailer. Okay, Kyle? If because let's say you're seeing them both you're seeing them both that same night, but you gotta just pick a movie to see which one first. I know you'd likely just go with whichever one we pick. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. let's say we're like, like, oh so you guys go to that movie, I'll just go with Let's say yeah, realistically we'd oh, see each know, other on the same day. Here we day. go, yeah. because okay, I'm wrong, because I would pick Batman vs. Superman too, because I love Batman. Yeah. But like let's say we're like, okay, Kyle, it's up to you. And don't take our advice. Like from yeah. the trailers, what would you go see first? If well, it was I think the, I would go see Civil War Two. Yeah. From the trailers. Civil War Two, it's just the first Civil War. Sorry, Civil War. <laughs> That's know. like twenty thirty. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, but, but just oh, from the trailer bullet. perspective, like it looked like a lot more was going on. Yeah. Between like the in their conflicts between each character. Plus, you don't know the ending of and Civil I, War. Yeah. Where yeah. Batman Superman. It's like, like oh, like, who's gonna win? <laughs> Nobody, because they're because well, they're Doom's working Day together. Wonder Woman. <laughs> but that was. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. Well, that that that's the two things I can say. One, yeah, I'd pick Batman just because I think Civil War, especially from the trailer. Mm-hmm. To me, it looks better. Like, if I had to pick someone just said quality, I'd pick Civil War. But yeah. Batman, because he's my all-time favorite, I'd still be like, I'll I'll pick him, you know? Because, like, I got to see it. And that's where, like, granted, we'll start getting in the trailer now. Ben Affleck, like, I wasn't totally opposed. Because me and Kyle joked about this when we were working at Best Buy together. <laughs> when he got cast, like, everyone hated. And, like, I'm not sure if you listen to this, Keegan, but we have a good friend, Keegan. And, yeah, he's... He moved away, but one time when he's on Cologne, when he's he, around here on one one, because he's like Liam and I, he's he knows even more than me. Like he's just like an encyclopedia of comic knowledge. But like I just remember him being so like mad, not in like a bitchy way, just like this isn't right. Like yeah. Ben Affleck's not the guy. Like, and I was in the th- thing of like he's not perfect, but let's see how it is. Like, there's many other people, Fastbender, who should have done it, but or uh, John Ham. No, especially because I, I would disagree with both of those choices. Even Ham? Yeah, I think what? I think Ham would look good in the suit. But I don't think you haven't seen Mad Men though, have you? Yeah, I've watched a bit of Mad Men. Think that and Bruce Wayne. That's where. See, I I mm. think you not that he'd be bad, but I don't think he would have been like wow. Whereas I like how big Ben Affleck is. Whereas That's fat, true. He has the size. Bender, like not that he can't get big because he did in three hundred. Yeah, but he looks like he'd be more of like a year one kind of Batman build. Yeah. Whereas this Batman, actually, his Batman, the costume in this. Uh, did you ever read Red Sun, where Superman's in Russia? And Batman's oh, I hear Russian. it's really good. It's really no, good if you get a chance. Probably because of Superman stories. Yeah, like... but it's and it's also kind of like <laughs> Frank Miller's The Dark Knight. Like he looks like a bigger, bulkier Batman, which makes sense. Like yeah, Christian Bale was. I mean, Christian Bale's only like five eight, anyways. But like, except in that first Batman movie, though, he put on like a lot of. He was yeah. huge in that first. He, one. he he never seemed as big as he should be. Whereas I like a taller, bigger Batman. Like it's tough because kind of more intimidating as well too. It yeah. is, but the Nolan one I like because he always said he told him to bulk up for Batman Begins, but then he always said the next two movies I want you thin because in real life, if Batman's being Batman, he's not gonna have time to hit the gym and be working out and whatnot. So I always he respected would Batman that. do on his days. Like I mean, not that he's he sleeps. Off, so like, think about him, Batman. He just sleeps. He's like a bat. He sleeps during the day. Remember, like remember that scene when like, what if Alfred like, wakes him up and yeah, he's what if just there's like, like no crimes. Like does he? I, there's he, always crime in Gotham City. Come on, <laughs> yeah. Gotham City. There's like, no t- crime. You're telling me he doesn't do like a 30 minute ab workout at least right before he gets in the Batmobile. He yeah, pops out 100 crunchers. Don't worry, Alfred. I'll be there being in a bit. With Catwoman, you know? <laughs> <laughs> That's all he has. Or Talia al Ghul. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he, I, I, I'm trying to think who out of. He probably gets the most ladies in the comic world. You think about love interests like Vicky Vale, Talia al Ghul, Catwoman. And, and hot girls, too. What? Uh, yeah. I'm trying well, to... actually, I think Thor probably bangs the most bar barmaids. I don't count them. Bar wenches. He's like a celebrity. He's a god. Of course, <laughs> yeah. of course, he's gonna have like, hey, I'm Thor. Deadpool gets a surprising amount of chicks too. But they're always say, like, messed you... up though. They're yeah, but yeah, just... but like, like when, <laughs> crazy's crazy. When Deadpool <laughs> takes off the mask. Ugh, I can't imagine what it's like when he takes his pants off. Like, yeah. Well, but anyway, but no, with Batman, like, that's the one thing I will say, like, there was other, at the time, there's other people I would pick, because Affleck, I'm like, 
Truthfully, I just yeah, wanted him to direct. he would have been my first choice, actually. But after seeing him, I'm like, wow, that was, like, an inspired Yeah, choice. that's the same thing. I was like, he was my first choice. But then as I went along, like, then I kept hearing all this stuff, like, he's, like, an Uber fan. He's been a fan all his life. Like, his old house, he had a bat cave. He built, a, like, a mini bat cave. So I was like, okay, so he's an ultra fan, so he's going to do it right. And then, because I listened to a lot of <laughs> Kevin Smith's podcast, he always said that's the reason he did Daredevil, because... That was after Batman and Robin, and they like everyone was like, "There's never gonna be another Batman again," because that movie okay. that Kyle somehow likes a little bit. You like that movie? Man, it was so Mr. Good. Freeze and <laughs> Minions were hockey players. <laughs> that's hilarious. That's not. That's not even. <laughs> it's like, great, Dane. It's great. I feel like if we had never got the Nolan ones, that's why I don't hate those movies anymore. Because <laughs> I'm like Batman and Robin <laughs> got us to Nolan. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Batman and Robin got us to Nolan. So it's like good thing it screwed up because after that we were gonna get Nicolas Cage playing Scarecrow and Madonna was supposed to play Harley Quinn. Like these were legit things that were gonna happen in the Batman. Nicolas Cage is also going to be Superman too. I want to see that movie though. Still, I, I yeah. If they you if, haven't watched the documentary yet I, though. No, I haven't. You but have to. I've, I've read all the stories you. on it. Oh, you still want to see the people see talk? It. No, but you got to see. They show like. They show a bunch of new clips that you've never seen before oh, really? of him and Burton. Oh yeah, like that. There's six that different said, costumes. I don't think. No, not Tim, Tim Burton. Burton. <laughs> like, after Beetlejuice, when did Tim Burton actually have like another good film? Sweeney Todd was not bad. But see, Planet that, that's... Apes. No, I'm joking. <laughs> okay, like let's let's not joke. I'm trying to. I'm <laughs> Planet no... of the Apes was brutal. Um, what did you say after what? Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. I'd say um, Sleepy Hollow wasn't bad. Well, that's the thing. They weren't bad. Yeah. But like, I feel like, like there's wow. one more good Tim and Burton movie. And he didn't direct there. The Nightmare Before Christmas either. No, everyone thinks like, he did. did. But he, he didn't. Did Alice in Wonderland? Yeah, yeah, and that sucked. I didn't like you that. You didn't like that? No. Yeah, it was I like, like Oz a lot better. That to me was what Alice in Wonderland should have The great one for Oz. You Franco? like the one with James Franco. Big time. No. I had it on my DVR. I legit would watch it. I'd fall asleep. Then when I woke up, I'd watch it again. I don't know no, why. I was like no. obsessed with this movie. I'm going to go on the record and say this. James Franco needs to stop acting. What? He is. I don't he, say that. He's no, good in he's co- keep awful. him in this is the end and stuff like that. Yeah, if sure. But yeah, stop trying to pretend that you're And the is, night before The night before was so He good. has is one of the best cameos of all <laughs> time. So not gonna spoil good. it. No, I'm sure he's a nice guy, but every like it just seems like ever since like he won his Oscar and the bunch of people. He didn't win that, an Oscar. Yeah, for 127 hours. No, he was only nominated. I thought or did he win the Golden Globe for that? Uh, I don't think so. It was some other powerhouse that year that won. Like it was one of these things like like we have four nominees, but this one guy like has it in the bay. I'll do yeah. a little fact checking while you're talking. Because I think he can be a good actor. I think he chooses not to be. I agree with you. I feel like over the years he's gotten worse and worse. On the dramatic stuff, the comedy I still like him. Yeah, like it's in Pineapple like, Express, he was great in that. Okay, yeah. cool. Uh, like I enjoy that, but everything else. You're like, and then you see him interviewed, and you're like, stop pretending you're an intellectual. Yeah. Maybe you are. Maybe you're not. But like. You make Still movies. Playing with me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's pa- it's Pineapple Express that I liked you and I liked you and this is the end. I feel He's like up. yeah, I feel like Hundred Twenty Seven was probably his really good last one. And then yeah, because I remember Spider Man when he was in Spider Man, I was like, this guy's gonna be some big when he's yeah. playing Harry because he was really good acting. And I always wanted him for the Riddler. I thought he'll be like back then, yeah. like really good yeah. James Franco. But now I still <laughs> like him, but I don't. I I agree with you that his acting's gone down. That's who I was calling for when he did the King's Speech. So it's oh, one of those yeah, of like was he had it that in the bag, like no one's gonna yeah. touch him. So, but no, with Franco, I feel he has gone down. But how do we get to James Franco? Where did we get? I, from I that? hate James Franco. No, so but I'll, sometimes do, I'll just bring it up. How do we get? How, uh, oh right, Superman, Tim Burton. Right? Yeah, that's but, right. No, I agree. Franco Tim Burton wouldn't have been the greatest. But yeah. Anyways, back to Ben Affleck. This <laughs> is how we got here. Hands on Superman. <laughs> Scissor hands, great too, though. I don't know yeah, if that came after Beetlejuice. That's a classic of mine. But um. Anyways, Ben Affleck. So, yeah. And now, though, since the two trailers have come out, I'm sold on him. That's yeah. just Heisenberg. If you hear him, folks, he's in a different room playing. That's my bulldog, as you probably know. Um, <laughs> I don't think he's playing. It sounds like he's whining. Well, because he wants to be on the podcast. But I said, no, not today. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you have intelligible opinions. When they make another Wonder yeah. Dog movie, I'll take. I'll bring it <laughs> up. <laughs> but um, what was I going to say? Uh, or Howard the Duck. Anything that's animal related. I'll just be my dog. Um, <laughs> just no, in, in, licking the mic for an hour and a half. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Peanut butter. Mm. No, I agree. Like when I saw him, I'm like, okay, it looks like it. And then the two things, like I think you said that too, like you like the back and forth, like when they're talking, right? Like, yeah, yeah that's good. That's the best part of the. Tra- and that's where. The Batman vs. Superman trailer? Yeah. yeah, that was that was intense. That was like, the best part. They know each other. Yeah. Like, oh, man. He hates him and he hates him. And that's the same thing. Even though Man still wasn't that great. Henry Cavill is like a perfect Superman. He mm-hmm. has it down. So that's one thing he DC really has. Does. They have like good actors. And Ben Affleck, after these two trailers, like to me, I'm convinced. I'm 100% on the Batflick train. Like if you're still whining, like why? Sucks like, to suck. Yeah, it sucks to suck. He's Batman. He's going to be Batman for the next 10 years. So like 
Get, get used to it. He yeah. signed a multiple contract. He's doing this two Justice League movies, and then the rumor is he's gonna direct his own trilogy, and that's what I want. Holy him shit. as an actor, wow. I was like, okay, that'll be fine. But that was the reason I want him to direct that man because that'll He'll be, be probably legit. like signed. He goes, oh, you, oh, you guys are gonna pay me too? Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Like if you've seen Argo, if you've seen like my favorite one actually is The Town. If anyone's seen that, was he did The flick. Town? Yeah. yeah. He oh. directed that. Really? Yeah. And that's I really what I mean. Like, like that movie. if you make a Batman version of The Town, like I'm in. Like, and it doesn't have to be known like super great, but like. Yeah. Just what I want to be like the animated series where it's like realistic, but all this weird shit goes on. And I think the rumor is they're going to get him to do the Red Hood storyline, which I'm not going to, you can't spoil it for you, but it's like Ooh. Hale is like one of the greatest comic storylines of all time. And they already I set know it up. of Red Hood. Yeah, they already set it up. They showed like that burnt Robin suit all the time. They keep which showing was that incredible. trailer. Like, yeah. And even that line that he says to. I'm dealing with jokes. Or people are dressed, dressed, dressed as, as a clown. clown. Yeah. And I was like, I, I, I almost dropped my phone and I was like, shit like and in the middle of a bus i was like what yeah and that's the thing like we're not being negative nancy's like there's stuff in the trailer that is good and it's stuff like the robin soon that little stuff like there's little stuff that it's still like it still has like it's still gonna be a good movie i just think we'll get the names in a second but i think they have a lot of qualities where they got the whole like like the into windows or like the nods to like hey yeah. like this like the joker well, see, that's why i think it's a roller coaster and like i, I i'm gonna point to the new star wars trailer can you tell me anything of the plot? No, no, no idea. and but it's that's phenomenal. Why it's that's what I love. And that. that's why, like, it's it's up in that hype train. Yeah. Like, there's no more breaks on Star Wars. Yeah. Like, I'm going full bore. Yeah. I'm gonna lose my mind on opening night. I think Whereas this one, it like less is more. Yeah, you could have shown us that little scene there, and you could have shown us like e- even if you revealed Wonder Woman because we already know she's in the movie. I would have been like sweet. But they revealed when she comes in, so you know when that's, Batman's about that's to my die, problem. she comes in with a shield. Like, all this stuff. Well, it's funny. When I was seeing this, because, like, I was, like, uh, <laughs> when I started watching, I was, like, I bet you they're going to spoil something. And I saw Batman's oh, going to die. And I was, like, they're going to kill Batman. He's going to come back. There's, oh, my good oh, he God. Ain't no. Oh, no. It's just Wonder Woman showing up in Doomsday. Oh, my gosh. How was that better? Well, and that's little stuff, too. Like, I don't know, like, how people like their Batman or whatnot. But, um, uh, I don't like in the moment when he's, like... He seems doomsday, and he's, like, about to say, oh, shit. And I don't like that, because it's just, like, I don't feel Batman swears. Like, he's really always cool, calm, collected. Yeah, and also, like, I feel like he saw Doomsday. Somehow he would have predicted this. I've been like, oh, yeah, surprise, like, anti-Doomsday. Even like, if he didn't predict it. He would have gone it, into the sewer somehow. Even if like, he didn't predict it, he'd be like, <laughs> okay, let's do this. And, and he just kind of, oh, shit. That it's just a the- thing from the first <laughs> Avengers movie when uh, Sam Lou. Oh, no, Captain America when... Uh, so Jackson just cuts right to the concrete. Yeah, well, sword. he had his lightsaber back from <laughs> Star Wars. But that's yeah. what I was going to say. We were talking about star, like, trailers. I think the Star Wars trailers, those have been the best ones. I feel like... That was like the movie District 9 as well, too. Before they even released the movie, they had the trailer. Like You had no idea what the movie was about. And I feel similar with Inception. Yeah. They did a good yep. job of yeah. non-spoiling. And Nolan's trailers are usually always good. Even Interstellar, which I didn't like love, but it was still like good trailers. Like, mm-hmm. but That's what I was going to say with... The Batman one, that very, very first Batman trailer, I thought was one of the best ones ever, too, with Batman and Superman. When it was the Comic-Con one, where it's Batman on the phone and the buildings go down. To me, that was the perfect yeah. combination of, they gave you an idea of what the plot was, but you still had no idea what was happening. You just knew that, like, Batman's pissed that all these people die and he's coming after Superman. And to me, that was enough. And they didn't need to show... Well, did you see the teaser of where Batman is hung up, and all it is is Superman jumps down... And walks up to him and rips his mask off, and that was all the teaser was. Yeah. Like, if they would have just done that, and hey, we're not going to release a trailer, here's just uh, this teaser. Like, because I saw that, and I was like, that's it. I'm like, Marvel, like, prepare yourselves, because DC's bringing it. And then they bring out this trailer, and I'm like, oh, oh. okay, DC, you started good. Now what do you got? Yeah, exactly. Like, do you know who Doomsday is? Um, No. Okay, so I don't know how they're going to do it, because they also revealed General Zod in the trailer as well. Yeah. And it looks like they're going to bring him back, so I wonder yeah. if they're going to turn Zod into Doomsday, because like, uh, the original Doomsday is actually a Kryptonian. Okay. Kind of. He's not of the same race yeah. as Superman and Zod are, but he was from uh, Krypton. Okay. And uh, so the story is that every time you kill him, he just comes back stronger. Wow. So it started off as, uh, I, I correct me if I'm wrong, viewers... Uh, there was a baby of sorts, and I can't remember who released it. They put these things in, and every time it died, they'd collect its bones, and it would come back stronger. And mm-hmm. it'd keep doing it until finally it could survive on its own. Yeah. And so every time Superman kills it, he just comes back stronger. Yeah. So while that's cool, I almost kind of wish they would have kind of done Bizarro for this one. Mm-hmm. Like uh, Bizarro Superman. I, do you know who that is? Okay. Uh, it's super, like, 
a clone. I'm not giving any I'm Superman not, comments because I don't own them. Not, <laughs> <laughs> not, uh, not, not a clone of Superman, but he's like... He's a evil version in a way. Yeah, like, yeah. It's like... Yeah. I don't, I'm so used to using the term Bizarro Superman because like they did that in that Seinfeld episode where it meet biz, the Bizarro Jerry and Well, it's the same thing because like, you read them for so many years. It's the same thing when people ask me, like, what does Vision do? I'm like, well, and then when I think about it, I'm just so used to his powers. I'm like, what, what technically is he? And then yeah. I'm just like, he has cosmic powers and like he does this and this. But like my thing with Doomsday, like, okay, so that was, I guess, kind of stuff. I'm trying to think of other stuff we liked from the trailer. Like, I'm not, that's not sound bad. But anyway, oh, that's what I was saying with that original Comic Con one I liked. It just set up the movie, and like you said with that thing, they should have just kept doing that stuff that wasn't spoilery. But that's my biggest problem with the trailer is it doesn't just spoil, like, one thing or two things. It spoils so much. Like, the yeah. first half is really good. And then you with have, the exception of Lex Luthor. Yeah, which is, is I thought you liked Well, see, you liked I, I didn't like him when he first meets any kind of like, oh, I wouldn't want to pick a fight with that guy. Yeah, that's my Like, problem. could you hit the plot, like, harder? Like, yeah. this is it, guys. And then after that, and then it, like, everything else kind of got bad, but then Lex Luthor had a couple great lines, and I was like, oh. Yeah. He's got promise here. I'm kind of excited to see what Jesse Eisenberg is going to do with the character. Yeah. So... Like it, it really was just a roller coaster. Things were coming in and out, and I was like, "Oh, I like that. Oh, that's kind of dumb. Oh, I like that. Wonder Woman." Like, I just hope for me and people have said this to me on Twitter. When I've been talking to them, and I just hope that we eventually get to that really cool, calm, like charisma, like um, Lex. I just don't know with Eisenberg if we'll ever get there because he's Eisenberg. Like he doesn't look like the guy. Like I've always okay. thought, like the guy from Facebook. Well, that's why he, lo- he just looks like he's playing like a more aggressive Mark Zuckerberg in these first. But is there a difference ones. between Mark Zuckerberg and Lex Luthor? In after the public, ju- there is. After though. just giving himself forty-five million dollars through a charity, so he didn't have to pay tax. But in the public, with that movie, that's the reason Mark Zuckerberg didn't like that movie because he's like, I'm not like that. Where like because he's in public, he's like a nice guy. Same with Luthor, like. To me, that looks like just an annoying guy that kind of looks like a... Like, that's one again, this, we're only basing off the trailer, which is like three minutes. So it's yeah. interesting. The movie could come and be totally different, but just what I've seen but so far... But I feel far, like a, you've, you know, you've now seen the movie. You know what's going to happen. That's my problem of, like, it, yeah. you don't know the full movie, but yeah. you know, okay, so Batman and Superman, you get their stories about why they're meeting. Yeah. They're going to fight in the middle. Something's yeah. going to happen where they don't kill each other. They're going to find out Lex is the problem. Yeah. Lex is going to create Doomsday. One room comes in. Yeah. They save the day. And, like, we should be a team. That is legit. I guarantee you the movie, movie. beat for beat. With, and we'll come with, back in March. With Aquaman just Sprinkled in somewhere. Yeah. That's what I mean. There's still little so, stuff, but we know the big plot points of, like, that's what I hate. If they called it just Batman, Superman, or Batman and Superman, fine. But they call it Batman, Batman Dawn versus, of Justice, right? Yeah, and that's what people throw at me. But then I'm like, there's also the versus word in there, too. So it's like, it implies they're fighting. Like, I, everyone knew they were going to team up and not kill each other, but don't show us like that. Don't Even, sh- the, like, the 20-second teaser of just, like, Superman and Batman was really good. That, yeah. It yeah. Was, it was. So you know a little bit more about Lex Luthor than I do. Uh, not too much. But I know him. Well, I'll, I know I'll him. slightly defend Eisenberg's choices. Like, you know when he is meeting them and he is annoying? But I also don't think he's actually met his match. Because Lex Luthor is such a smart yeah, guy. Yeah, which is true. He's so used to looking down on somebody. And I think meeting Batman, who is this intellectual superior, and then obviously Superman is his physical superior no matter what he does. Yeah. Uh, I think... Kind of, I, I think that's what's gonna take him from being, oh, I'm just annoying, ha, ha, eccentric billionaire, to all of a sudden, no, I am evil. I don't like this. So I do hope they do kind of justify. That's what I like hope. That's what people but... have been telling me because all I'm saying is just right now with this character, I could love his like development, but just the way the character is, I don't like because I find it's gonna be distracting. He's kind of annoying. Plus, you, if you're going off by that bias as well too, that you now have seen it in that entire trailer of him like being kind of kidly or whatever at the beginning and then like kind of be like oh no trying to be more yeah. important and more serious halfway through the trailer and that's the same thing that's where the movie can say that is if it feels right in the movie it's good but that's the problem they just show so much in the trailer yeah. and it's just and with yeah with Eisenberg like I said I'm, I'm holding out I just I hope the development's good I just worry because I just don't think other than Nolan DC has never knocked out of the park yet and I just don't know because no. to me it's like I feel like they don't I don't know. They don't get much credit for those Dark Knight movies because they, that wasn't them. That was all Nolan. And, like, they gave them the money and had some input. But I feel like, look at Man of Steel without Nolan. You know, like, it was yeah. so lost at times. And that's where it's like, if Nolan was doing this, I'd be like, you know what? 
Lex is going to be fine. It'll be great because he's not. I'm like, and Zack Snyder has a shoddy track record. I love the Watchmen movie, but there's yeah. other movies that like he did Sucker 300 Punch. as well, right? Yeah, but then there's yeah. Sucker Punch. For every like good movie, he has like a bad movie too. And then he did yeah. like in a, a weird like Al animated movie. I'm not sure if you've seen this before. It's like called like Guardians or something, but. Anyways, that's off the wait, discussion. Wait, wait. So what, 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 it's an like owl movie. Owl, it's like, like called like just Guardians. It's an animation like owl movie owl. or something. Like mean owl. Like, like owl. Like, oh, owl. Oh, the Guardians <laughs> of Gohul. Yeah. Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah. I, I thought you were saying owl, and I was like owl, like like elf. Like yeah. Didn't, there was an elf movie, and I didn't know just about this. Just a movie about Al Bundy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but no, and then the last thing I guess we can talk about this is: Do you guys like the look of Doomsday? You don't know what he looks like, so you you got blinders. Honest. So you're, but fine. What do you think he just looks like in general, without knowing what he actually looks like? I thought he was just some sort of demon monster. My monster. problem is he just looks like a troll from he looks, the Hall of the Rings. Yeah, I was gonna yeah. say the exact same thing. He looks like like Lex Luthor brought a cave troll. Like if that line was in it, I'd be like, yep, yeah, that makes sense. I'll try. But it, like in this like Batman vs Superman, like usually it's somewhat kind of realistic. Not realistic, but like yeah. to not super far fetch out. Well, see, that's I think well, I that's, guess, I Superman, guess Superman is an alien. An alien. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but see, that's the one kind of thing that like sometimes comic books this is what he just looks like. can't translate to the screen. Like if you look like <laughs> the thing like from the Fantastic Four, yeah. Like no matter what they do, he's a rock man. Like you can't really make that look all that good. Like in the new Fantastic Four, which was a shitty movie, they tried to make it look really realistic. Didn't quite look right. You know, in the original Fantastic Four. Uh, was it Michael Chiklis? Yeah, and, the and like he had like suit. yeah, like a rubber suit. Eh, like okay, practical effects don't really work. Like yeah. maybe somebody's gonna come and do it better. Like maybe Greg Nicotero because he is phenomenal at all that costume. People makeup. have thrown that at me though, and I just feel like if they're gonna do Doomsday, even if he might look silly, because in that trailer he already looks silly, just go all out, give him the spikes in his shoulder. And yeah. some people have said same thing. Oh, it's uh, he could evolve like he does in the comics and maybe yeah. get that. But it's like one of these things. It's still speculation. So I'm just judging what I've seen so far. I can't yeah. judge. And I feel like a lot of the love on Twitter and whatnot for the trailer. I honestly, like, I don't want to be that guy, but I feel like it's a lot of DC fanboys that just are so bitter that Marvel's so popular. Like, yeah. it's people that are like, no, there's no problem at all in the trailer. I'm like, <laughs> there, there's problems with this trailer. I'm not saying you have to say this is a bad trailer. You yeah. could say like, oh, blah blah blah, but you can still. They spoiled way too much. They should not show them teaming up in the end. Like, no, yeah. not I at all. I would have liked it not you knowing. Know what, yeah, that at all. I, you know what's gonna I, happen, but don't show yeah. me. Now we know the scenes. We know Wonder Woman saves Batman. Mm -hmm. Like, we know that last third act of like what happened. We can, yeah. we could write it down and be probably seventy five percent close. We should do that. We, maybe we, we will. Right before the movie. Right before we'll the movie. Seal it, yeah. And then see what we see. We think afterwards. Maybe yeah. next cast we'll do that. We'll write our own third act. And see <laughs> the, that. the one thing that I really wish they wouldn't have done is the line when uh, Wonder Woman saves Batman, and he goes, "I thought she was with you." And I was like, I saw that, and I was like, "Really?" Like, That's them trying to be Marvel. Yeah, and I was like, "Could you like come up with a poor line?" Plus, you have the world's greatest detective. Tell me you don't know about the Amazonians and Superman. Don't tell me you haven't been to space and noticed the Amazonians. Well, Superman to me is fine because he's. He he, ha he hasn't been doing this for a while, right? No, just, I guess that's true in this universe. But Batman should know. But like, yeah, because he's been doing it for a while. You're telling me like with all the things you do, you just focused on. He's Gotham supposed City. to have been doing this for 20 years. That's yeah, like the story. It's it's not that. Uh, I I don't expect them to have like a rapport with uh, Wonder Woman, but you should have been like, no, obviously. okay, I go see it. And even if you're Wonder Woman. Did you not notice all the shit that's been going on in Gotham? Maybe take a flyby in the invisible jet? But I don't think she's gonna... First of all, there's no more jet anymore. I think that's gone now. And first of all, <laughs> well, like, I, I think the no, reason... No, 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 man, I want to believe. <laughs> I think she wouldn't stop by is because you were dealing with people like Hot Topic Joker. So I don't think she's like, I'm not gonna waste my time. Hot Topic Joker. Okay, you know... Damaged! Let, let's just... Let's go to Suicide Squad yeah, we'll right now. It's that. gonna suck. I'm I'm wow. coming out right now. I think it's gonna suck. Wow. I think they did a poor job with the way the Joker looks. People now, love that trailer. Well, I don't it, know why. Lots of people love that trailer. I wouldn't uh, say everybody. Okay, so I think <laughs> Liam didn't. No, I did not. Uh, there, there were some cool moments, like when the Batman pulled, I believe, the Joker right out of there. I was like, cool. They didn't show that, him reached. I don't think they show a pull. But yeah, you know well, but yeah, <laughs> he's so I was like, cool. Then I was like, oh, it's because it's Batman. Like, no, I, I trust Jared Leto as an actor. I think he's going to do a good job. Mm -hmm. But the way that he looks takes me out of it. That's I think I Harley, Queen, uh, Queen, Harley Quinn looked good. But when Will Smith was like, huh, it's up to us to save the world, I was like, let's go save the world. Yeah, I was like, who wrote, like, who wrote this? Like, yeah. this is something like I would have done with my action figures. Like, it just doesn't look <laughs> like it's going to be well thought out. It almost looks like they're trying to cash in. 
like tr- I feel like they're gonna try like to make their guard- guardians. That's yeah. what I was just gonna say. <laughs> yeah. They're guardians that's of the like galaxy. A wacky movie, yeah, with a wacky like movie, but still dark people. and gritty. And that's what's gonna be. And like the way that I see the trailer, I'm like, it looks boring. Yeah, I don't, I don't care about these characters. They've made, they, they're not exciting me about it. Uh, I think, with the exception of Harley Quinn, but that's only because I think the actress is hot and I think she has a good voice to it. But Margaret Robbie is, I think she's. Yeah. Legit, we should do this as a special one time. I don't know if there's ever been any more perfect casting for any character than her as Harley Quinn. Because you watch Wolf of Wall Street, and you're like, that is Harley Quinn. Like, think about somebody, maybe Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man, but you can't say Hugh Jackman, because Hugh Jackman was Broadway guy at the beginning. So people were like, people fuck hated this. Him. Yeah, people were like, fuck this. But I feel like Downey and Robbie, I feel like those two are the the best because she's just so perfect and in the trailers her looks all right but she has the voice she has like the movie yeah. she's gonna she'll be that's she'll my that's my thing with the trailer i'm like a half and half i think all the joker and harley quinn stuff could be really good but then the suicide squad stuff will be like but, and i think that's what they're man. gonna focus on and like oh yeah well, like sure. i mean okay. it's called the you suicide the squad <laughs> movie. Yeah. but yeah I, I think that's gonna be in there only to be like hey guys we're bringing the joker back yeah. and he's whack and i feel like they also did that in case you didn't want to go see it with just those actors, it's like, hey, yeah, you go see the Joker. Yeah, like, what, what, what was the last good Will Smith movie? After Earth? No, because I watched that, and that made me cry that people got paid to do something like that. Uh, I don't know, actually. Like, yeah. Probably Seven Pounds. It was actually, Seven, seven pounds, pounds, pounds was quite good, but that was a long time. Well, uh, yeah, it's probably about eight, nine years well. ago. But like, he only does a couple movies a year. He has a Sean Penn where it's like one movie and he takes two years off. So that's where it seems like he hasn't had a good movie, but it's just because... He also did The Wild Wild West and turned down the role of Neo. So can we trust his choices? When and he turned down Django movie? Unchained, too. He yeah. was oh, yeah. Tarantino's choice, but he said it was too violent. He wanted more of the love story, which I can see for him, but like yeah. Django's perfect. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> Django's amazing. So Actually, I think I think he would have been better than Jimmy Fox in that personally. Oh yeah, me too. But because uh, I think he's a good actor, I just think he needs a, a good role. This Jimmy Fox overacted in that role a bit, which is a shame because he's an Oscar winner. I feel like he just I, which I feel is... like he felt well. You talk about him, not think about like Spider Man too. I feel like it was the same thing where he just Spider-Man. went way too. That that could be we, a whole podcast. We're not gonna own. get into it. We will. We will one time. We when did that come out? Last year or this year? I don't uh, know. Try to what was this, last year? Try to burn that year? out of my memory. Yeah, it was no, this year. no, because I, I I saw it with my last girlfriend. So it was <laughs> it, it was, it was last definitely year? last year. Oh. And if it was, it was the beginning okay. of last yeah. year. Oh. So I said. So you think it's gonna be awful? I yeah. think. 50%. I agree with you 100%. I absolutely don't like anything about the look. I could have been fine. Don't take this as like, oh, you don't like tattoos. No. Tattoos are fine. I don't like damaged on his head. I don't like... Yeah, if like... they would have been cool tattoos. Yeah. If they didn't look like, like something like my cousin got and his like five-year-old thug playset. And it's so obvious and I hate it. It's just on the nose. Like, look at me. I'm the Joker. Like, I got hot I'm going to make you me. hurt. Yeah. Like, fuck just... off. Like... <laughs> okay, so... And his grill? Like, you... come on. The grill, yeah. So you're... You're a... supposed to be a thug or a gangster. Like, but the only He's way not, I can though. say it's fine is if Batman like literally knocked his fucking teeth out. Because the rumor yeah. is that scene when he's getting them is after he's killed Robin. That's the rumor of why Joker's in jail, and that's how they finally caught him. They caught him over, like standing over, like they caught proof that he killed Robin. They could put away. So that's why I like yeah. there. If there was a scene of Batman just literally punching Joker's teeth out, that would be great. So that's what I mean. I guess he has done, but so you're in full hate cam. You, you know what I'm just thinking, like just while we're talking about this. If Ben Affleck was Batman and they somehow managed to bring in Matt Damon as like Jason Todd, I know that age doesn't work it. out. No, but just, age doesn't work at all. Just, just as like like even if they do it like Jimmy Fallon or something, I would watch the shit out of that. Like, <laughs> I don't want I don't want Damon there because it'll take me out of it because I'll know they're well, so just friends. as like a parody. Like I think oh be, yeah, I think that'd be so funny. <laughs> I want I want I don't I. You watch American Horror Story? Yeah. I want Matt Balmer for Jason Todd. That I think he's perfect. You look at his face and you think about well, Jason know, he's Todd. He's just perfect. Well, Let's yeah. Let's be real. Yeah. I don't go that way, but I would for him. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, he's, he's beautiful. But anyway, so you're full on hate. I'm yeah. kind of in the middle. I Joker's my favorite, but I'm very... I don't like the look, but I think Lil do good. And what do you think? Um, We'll see. Oh, we'll see. Because mm-hmm. I thought you really liked the trailer. When I, I like I like the trailer because I really like Harley Quinn. I thought that really like everybody. I, know. I don't think there's a dude that doesn't <laughs> like Harley. Quinn. It really sent me chills. Just like her in the in that cage of just like to see of, her too. To like on its film. Oh my goodness! It was just so creepy. It was so well done. But yeah. then yeah, I agree with you. The whole Will Smith like oh, let's go save the world. I hope he's saying that sarcastically though in the movie because he's a criminal, right? So I hope that's what I mean. It's always yeah. tough with a trailer. Like you yeah, think you know, true, true. but then. 
you, you know, like there's stuff like Fantastic Four that it looked the trailers look like it could be good and then you're like Jesus but like yeah that I blame that on studio though because yeah. the original idea if he had for the script like it's kind of going to be like the fly but I think I there's times funny, but... where I'd say like Ant Man was an amazing movie but it was a lot better than the trailers made look those trailers were awful but when you see the I'm movie not gonna lie, it's I only good. saw the Mac and Me ones that he did on Conan O'Brien oh yeah <laughs> those were really good actually. <laughs> So um, I was a little disappointed. So you're in the Will C camp. The Will C. The Will C. The Will C. Will C. Will C. Yeah. So okay, that's fine. Um, it, like it looks good, but like I don't really know too much about the Suicide yeah, Squad. That themselves. comes out in August, by the way. See, so that, see, to me, that's a movie. Like if they didn't make it, I wouldn't be hurting for it. But if they did, yeah, I'll go see it. Yeah. It, it has a really niche audience, though. So that's one thing yeah. I'll give to DC that I do like that they're doing that. I just worry they did. And yeah, see they did that in Marvel did that with Guardians, but yeah. the Guardians was an incredible film yeah like it was just fun which i don't think squad will be on that level and once again it's super dark which of course it should because it's suicide squad Mm -hmm. but i'm just saying like i just hope not every squad like every dc movie is um is uh that dark but yeah so that's out in august and then this is the one i'll talk about quickly because there's really not much to know about it but gambit is supposed to be out next october yeah i'm so that's you know who gambit is Carl, he's the X Men guy that throws New cards. Orleans. He was in X Men Wolverine Origins. If you saw, okay, but yeah, um, but that was they. I was don't know what like who wrote that script, but it's like they'd never read a comic yeah. book before. Like, so you don't have too much to add. But no. Chang Tatum is playing an X Men in his own movie. I kind of so, wish they would have yeah. kept Taylor Kitsch because I think he's been in movies that have really suffered from like a like a producer and distributor effect, like. John Carter wasn't a bad movie, but they didn't market it right. I just don't like him. Not as a person, just Cologne, as actually. acting. Yeah, I just gotta, don't... Gotta support the hometown. I kids. just don't like... <laughs> he's like this gener. He was like last generation... He's this generation's Jay Courtney, if you know who that is. Or Jay no. Courtney. He's in Terminator Genesis. He was in Die Hard. He played John McCain's son. He's like in everything, but he's just not a good actor at all. And they're just forcing him. And Taylor Kitsch, like... I like Freddie Prince Jr., well, they tried. Yeah. They tried hard with him. Yeah, they always they try just, with somebody for yeah. some reason. But um, oh well, yeah, no, there's not much to add because we've seen not even a picture or anything that's just coming yeah. out this year. I 100 percent think, think odd it's that we gonna, haven't seen anything yet. I think this is why my point is. I think it'll be delayed. I think they'll yeah. bump it to 2017 because first of all, there's already seven movies coming out, and second of all, there's already Deadpool and X Men Apocalypse coming out. Yeah, that's two other X Men movies, and then a third. That's way too much. In one year, especially when all they have. Yes, is I would I wouldn't call Deadpool a uh, X Men movie. But true, but he has X Men. Colossus is in it. That's true. Yeah. Well, then let's talk about that right now. Deadpool. I'm so excited for this movie. Yeah. I can't wait. Uh, Deadpool. <laughs> Deadpool, <laughs> Deadpool is my absolute favorite. I love his comics. I think. I don't think there's a better character in either DC or Marvel to make a fun movie out of. Yeah. Because with Deadpool, like, because he can regenerate and he's wacky and he's crazy, but. Uh, we saw in the last run that he did, he can have that serious side with his family and how he was created and how he doesn't know, like, whatever he touches essentially burns. You can make everything out of it. Like, you can't make Batman fun. Like, no. you could not make a Batman You can make Dick Grayson fun, like, as a yeah. character, but you can't make Bruce Wayne. Exactly. Yeah. So, <laughs> I think he just has that limited, uh, or unlimited potential for fun. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm not, like, is this going to be an Oscar winner? No. no. Is it going to be really, really fun like Guardians of the Galaxy? I think it is. And Ryan Reynolds is awesome. Like that's what I was just gonna say. I totally misspoke. It was like perfect casting. There's like that's somebody that even in the comics he says he's like Ryan Reynolds. It's like yeah. that to me even before Downey and Robbie. That is like the and, perfect and all casting. the scenes. And I love that they made him ugly too. Yeah, because I mean Ryan Reynolds, good looking guy. They're keeping the mask on him, and yeah. like it's, I, I I really felt like somebody in the studio. First of all, it's a hard art, which is cool. Yeah, uh, which I thought the studio wouldn't let him. I thought the studio would make him take his mask off because it's Ryan Reynolds. Yeah. Uh, but to keep the mask on, and when he does, excuse me, take it off, he is all super pockmarked and yeah. Yeah. ugly and shit, and I like that. They're letting them run with the ball. And I think, well, I mean, with Marvel's track record, they're pro- it's not <laughs> they're Marvel, probably just- though. It's Fox, remember? Fox so has Deadpool people. rights? Yeah, because yeah. he's an X-Men. Well, Fox is... Well, like, I was going to say, Mar- they're probably just like, Marvel, do what you want. You've been doing what I Fox, wish so, he was like, in Marvel. Imagine him in the Avengers. Like, <laughs> oh, I would never get tired. Like, but just him and Downey together would yeah, be so him, great. Robert Downey Jr., Chris Pratt. Anybody. Like, like an Ant-Man. Like, him and Groot. I mean, like... Him and Groot. Him and Rocket Raccoon Him and Hulk. Like, that's... I agree with you. Like, Deadpool is the most fun scary. You can do anything. And they do... Yeah. 
look like they have it down. I'm not, I'm 100% like you guys excited. I still have a little worry because it's the first time. So it's the same thing as like. Well, not I, really because he was an X-Men Origins. But no, first time it's like a full motion. like yeah. hour, 45 minutes not of just like Deadpool. 15 or was it 10 minutes he was an X-Men. Yeah, and I just Until hope. Until they sewed his mouth shut. <laughs> I just hope some people don't get annoyed by him because I can see the happening, the character. Like that's my only thing and that's what I was going to ask. Like we're all excited, but. Do you think the biggest question is, it's a hard R, you got all this coming up, but do you think it's going to be money successful? And that's my biggest worry. I think it could be really good. You know what? People are going to see it. Especially, like, too, it's out on the same day as Zoolander 2. So I don't think that would matter. I think no, one of those, I, I think one movie will bomb. That's what I'll, I'll go I think right it's, now. To be honest, I think it's going to be Zoolander 2 that's going to bomb. I know, I'm worried. Uh, <laughs> well, realistically, like, oh, am I going to see it? Yeah, I love the first Zoolander. Comedy sequels really don't tend to... Uh, be received well. Yeah. I think this is the one that <laughs> from I that said. trailer. Did you like the Zoolander trailer? I did, especially because you have Benedict Cumberbatch in it, and I'm excited that he actually gets to play like a fun character. He's not so serious. I think and... this has the f- chance to be the first comedy to be like the comedy sequel that did a good job. Like I'm well, hoping. What are you? Twenty Two Jump Street did because I know when me and you saw yeah. it, people were looking at us because we were laughing so we hard. We laughed so but hard. But looking but... at you, that's two out of like a whole theater. Well, like it was, it was <laughs> so true. funny. Like for we, you too. Oh that's my god! What I mean. Oh, everybody else was laughing, but like people we were with were like, "Guys, like it's funny," but like yeah. we're like, "No, no. This, this is hilarious." hilarious. But I just, I, I just think with Deadpool, like okay, so I've been to uh, the Calgary Expo about four years in a row now. Everybody wears Deadpool shirts. Yeah. Everybody knows Deadpool. Gambit. Like, no, that man. I'm worried. Whereas, about. like my brother, who like he's one of those guys, like he says he's in a comics, but he's not really. But like. More so, just from a time and money aspect, like he's got kids now, he doesn't really have yeah. a chance. Uh, he knows who Deadpool is. He'll go see that on opening night. Yeah, uh, I could convince my parents, like, hey, it's a really funny action movie. I could probably go get them to go see it. Whereas, like, Gamma, it's like, oh, it's this guy from uh, Cajun, and he throws cards. And they should have. Like, my whole big thing with Gambit is they should have started him next movies and spun it off. So yeah, they should have made it like, oh, this character's really cool. Here's kind of like they're doing with Black Panther in yeah. Avengers, and same thing that they did with Wolverine. Yeah, like, and that you, I don't think they can just throw Gambit there and Chang's a big enough star. But no, I hope it's big. And I think if Deadpool it, came out. When they wanted to with Origins, it wouldn't be as big. But the good thing with like Twitter and Facebook is lots of people know who Deadpool is now, and yeah. you see memes and whatnot. So I think that could help the success of just the social media. Like I think ten years ago, probably would have bombed. Like, and I still worry it could bomb because not everyone knows who he is, and because it is right R that does take out but a lot of people. But if Thor one, two, and Captain America one can make money, not right R though. That's a let's take our kids to go see it, right? But, okay, you know what though? Like people keep talking about that. I don't think being rated R. Maybe it's different but in the states. The re- it's a comic book though. There's never been a successful rated R comic book. Like Kick Ass was a bomb. Blade Kick like, Ass bombed. Yeah, they oh, barely I, made a really sequel, like and then the sequel bombed again. Well, the sequel. Pirated. Well, the sequel. Yeah, the yeah. Wasn't, it was good, but it wasn't that great. First yeah. Kick Ass was really good. Yeah. Like Nick Cage was actually fun. Uh, but no, I. I and Punisher, I, all those bombs. So that's like, yeah, but no, those are those were shitty movies. Not though. Warzone. Warzone's quality. Okay. Popcorn. It, it, yeah, that's either, what it is. Either way, before we, we won't get into that because that's another thing to talk about but no, no radar comic yeah. movie. No, fair enough. Has, and I, I don't know. I think it's because parents might see it and then they, oh, it's radar. So I don't know. Like, I hope this cracks the code for radar superhero movies and then... I don't know. Uh, just to bring up another topic, we need to address a rating system because Borat and Bruno were 14A. What? Yeah. Love you saw a dick talk in Bruno. So like I rather like show my kids Bruno! like showing like a fake movie yeah like I'd rather show them a fake movie but a kid getting decapitated before I but let, let him see that's Bruno. here in Canada though it was radar in America I'm pretty sure because we get all 14a it takes something tough to be radar here but in America like all that shit's radar is it gonna be um, Deadpool gonna be radar oh big here? time really oh well not here I think it's still like no because well, I know he's gonna swear a lot and I think you're only allowed to say fuck once you get one fuck in PG in PG 13 and yeah. it can't be like fucking it has to be just like fuck you you can like, say shit a lot now yeah, yeah that's it, changed and bitch yeah. I don't know how that's because bitch is the I've seen that in some PG still, movies yeah, yeah and you're like what okay. yeah. but no I, th- I think I think Deadpool's gonna be a success I, th- I hope so, man. I'm, I really do. I It'll crush it. me. If that bombs, or if the movie's bad. Like, I, You know what? It's I funny. Everything I've seen, I have no fear. Like, there's some other... Like, like, but then there's a, the financial side that fears me, too. Because it bombs, that's it. That's its one shot. And but if then, it's good, I don't care if it bombs. Cause but I do because I want sequels. Uh, okay. That's okay. what I mean. I want like, sequels. I, I want him to go into the X-Men. I want, like, all this. Like, And I, re- like, I, like, I just think... 
I know it would be weird, but I really want him at one point to end up, like, beside Michael Fassbender and Jennifer Lawrence. Like, that will be so good. Like, there's just so much potential. And I just, if yeah. he has, a, I've always said this about this, it could be Ryan Reynolds' Jack Sparrow. It could be the role that, like, defines the rest of his career if it's a big hit that he's always, like, known as. He's doing, like, ten movies, like, in ten years be like, oh. But Ryan Reynolds is already a pretty popular actor. But his yeah. movies always bomb now, too. And, but I'd hate for it to be as Jack Sparrow and then him release a whole bunch of shitty movies like Johnny Depp has been doing. I don't think that would happen. Because Reynolds loves the character. That's like, true. He's read him his whole life. So, but like Johnny Depp has not been in a good movie in a long time. Lie, lie, lie. You haven't seen Black Mass, one of the best movies. Of the okay, year. okay. Black Mass, I, I, I haven't seen that. But I, if it I, wasn't for Fastbender, he should win the Oscar this year. Like, it's Black, so but Black Mass aside, because that just came out. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Transcendence. <laughs> Transcendence I'm was terrible. I'm joking. But yeah, like he's just been in movies that have like Dark Shadows. Oh my God, was that a bad the last film? one I saw good was uh, he did Public Enemies with Christian Bale. And that was decent when he was John. Yeah, Bender. it was it, it was, was not decent. Great, but it was decent. But in every movie comes out, you're thinking like, Wow, Johnny Depp, this is it. I'm I'm liking this. And then you watch it, and you're like, Ah, oh, God damn it! Like Transcendence. I think he's back. He's black. I think he's back with Black Mask. Yeah. I think that was his coming out party of like hey Johnny Depp is like a bat out of hell and yeah. he's here to do good movies and then watch they'll announce like Tim Burton Johnny Depp doing well, yeah. well, Alice in Wonderland they too. are it is it's coming out next oh, year oh. it's through the looking glass sure, Sasha Baron Cohen was in it at the time the he's movie. a phenomenal actor he so is. I'd actually but then again so is Stephen Fry and Alice in Wonderland still sucked yeah. so so that's Deadpool so we're all Kyle you have anything to add to Deadpool you I'm just want I'm just too excited for Deadpool yeah, yeah. I like uh what was it when the the Halloween when he's talking to the kids? Oh, oh it was yeah. so good! <laughs> that, was, that sold me on. I think it could be a really good movie. It's just like, yeah. hey, what's your power? Shoot lasers in front of my eyes. Well, that fucking sucks. <laughs> like it's so good and just like team photo. Okay, everyone look yeah. forward. Look forward. Everyone, you're not looking forward. Like so good. Like yeah, that's, that that sold it because that's him just being like just spur of the moment yeah. like. Just saying anything you want, so that's why I think it could be good. So, um, anyway, so we'll, yeah. And then have you seen just Ryan Reynolds set up like the yeah, IKEA bed? Yeah. No. <laughs> oh no, yeah, I, I did. I, I don't think it's like that. him. It's like him just drinking beer and trying to oh, set up the yeah, IKEA bed. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. I. I. I think he'll do a good job. I just want the whole movie to be good. So, but anyways, this one's hard to judge too because we haven't seen that much. But, like, Kyle and me will be super stoked for it. Doctor Strange comes out next November. How are you as far as a Doctor Strange fan? I'll tell you why uh, you're I'm stoked not, in a second. I'm not a... I'm not a <laughs> yeah, wait, what do you mean, we? You uh, know, Kyle will know. I'll say I'm a word. I'm not a huge Doctor Strange fan. I know of him. Uh, I've seen him... Like, I've never read a Doctor Strange comic, mm -hmm. but I've seen him in other runs. He's always... Like, in Gauntlet, he's all... Time. Yeah. He's always around. And, like, my thing when they said that, like, we're doing Doctor Strange, I was kind of like, oh, Okay. I feel like there should have been other ones that you guys developed first. But then, like, and we have Benedict Cumberbatch, and that I was like, was oh, I don't care now. Drop. I'll be there opening night. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Benedict Cumberbatch has yet to make a bad movie. Yeah. Uh, and even in movies that you could argue maybe aren't the best or your he's favorite, good. He's, he's good. He's kind of like Samuel Jackson. He's never bad. And if he's the main character of a movie... I'm just excited to see where he goes with this. And he's perfect for Doctor Strange because he has that aura Have bottom. you seen the, the poster? It's fake. Oh, okay. Well, it's a good poster. So <laughs> it is. He whoever made like that. that, kudos to you. Yeah, no, it's fake. But no, I, 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 he's not like one of my all-time favorites. But I actually do really like Doctor Strange because it's gonna open up that fantasy Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings side of Marvel of like yeah. mystical magic. So I like that. Um, the main reason I'm super stoked is it has this like it has a stacked cast. Um, the guy from Twelve Years a Slave. What's his name? Secretary. Shiotel. 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 Yeah, he Shiotel. he's playing Baron Mordor, who is like his oh, big yeah. enemy and whatnot. So he's in there. Tilda Swinton's in there. She's playing Angel, really? a dude. Yeah, Rachel McAdams is in it. She's playing like the, his eventual love interest and whatnot. But the main big thing, the mic drop, is Mads Mikkelsen is in Doctor Strange. Is he really? And he's playing the villain. Yeah. So I'm good. No. Yeah. You so that'd be a Benedict Cumberbatch, and you could have said any one of those names. I'm like, oh, I'll see it. It's one of those things that I really like. That it's almost like Marvel does the reverse of like, hey, we have Captain America and Thor, like big franchises, and they go, let's cast smaller actors. But then it's like, oh, we have Doctor Strange. Not many people know who it is. So let's cast like. Ben and Cumberbatch, whoever people loves. Let's cast Rachel McAdams. Let's yeah. cast all these people. And same thing, Mads Mikkelsen. the last movie that Rachel McAdams was in? Mm. Like, I she love her. She was busy with True Detective. Oh, that's true. She was not True Detective. Yeah. Yeah, because before that, I don't. I hadn't seen her in a whole She was in About Time. Have you seen About Time? Uh, no. It's actually. phenomenal, actually. Is it's, it? It's my You're favorite. saying that because your girlfriend's here? No, it's my favorite <laughs> romantic comedy of all time. Okay, well, that's, that's, that's high praise. Yeah. 
But um, you don't need to show them the DVD cover. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's owned on Blu-ray. Oh, oh, oh my god, we'll watch it one time. It's legit really good. But um, I think it might be on Netflix or it was on one time. But no, that's what I liked. And Mad Mickelson is, as people know, I've talked about on this pod or the Game oh, Freaks podcast. Yeah, yeah really Donald good. Gleason, yeah. yeah, he's gonna be in Star Wars. Um, yeah, Mad Mickelson is just he can do no wrong. He's just such a good actor, and I think him as a villain in a Marvel movie could be really, really good. It could be like, really good. Yeah, like he's gonna like there's loads of there's loads of potential. So. Yeah, I like that they just kind of stack the cast. They're like, hey, people yeah. might not see this movie, but let's put a bunch of people that people love. So. Well, I almost feel like they kind of did that with Guardians of the Galaxy. Like, yeah, okay, people know Chris Pratt. But yeah. they also had uh, John C. Riley. Uh, but John C. Riley's not a big star. You can't no, say No, but that. he's a phenomenal actor. Yeah, uh, but they Glenn did. Glenn Close. Yeah, Glenn Close. Uh, and then you had Vin Diesel and Bradley Cooper's The Voice. Yeah, and like, so you're like, okay, like... And Benicio Del... Uh, Bene- yeah, yeah, Benicio Del Toro, Del Toro yeah. was a collector. Uh, and for the life of me, I can't remember the guy's name, but he is... He does a ton of voiceover work. He was like the captain of all the... I know who you're talking yeah. about. Um, Yondu? Or no, not, no, not the, Yondu. Not Michael but, even, but even Michael Roker's in yeah. it. Like, yeah. you had these big actors for smaller parts. You kind of had like... Yeah, Chris Pratt's big. Yeah, Zoe Saldana's big, but they're not like yeah, but I feel household like names. Chris Pratt wasn't like that big until no, that, that movie made, made him that that made oh, without a doubt. And yeah. like, but then you have you know it's kind of like and now Jurassic World. So too, you have yeah. all those. Let's not talk about Jurassic World. But it made him a yeah. bigger star. Oh yeah, then yeah. you have all you have all those big actors around it, and I feel like they're kind of doing that with this. Whereas like, hey, we have a really cool movie. So let's get as many good actors as we can. Let's make a really good film because yeah. this is a really interesting and character. And plus they have the more money to do it now because oh, yeah. they're just like off the it's, it's funny. Like I rewatched Iron Man the other day because uh, my girlfriend hadn't seen it. And I was like, holy shit. Like the budget for this film was not high. No. Especially when you go into these new ones and you're like – and you're blown away by it. But the first one you could really tell that like by no means did they have a shoestring budget. But I think like, they paid it once again almost there for the actors. You look at there. They had Terrence Howard, Jeff Bridges, Gwyneth Paltrow – Robert Downey Jr. But they, he, good he, career resurrection. Yeah, he but he John Favreau. He got paid less than Terrence Howard, Robert Downey. Really? In that movie. But didn't Terrence Howard want more money, and that's why they replaced him with John Shield? Yeah, and what a dumb move. Just take your yeah. Make, like surprise, we're gonna replace you with an even better actor. <laughs> yeah, like I don't know. I don't. I always hate that. The same way, that's always a rumor that with Norton, that's what happened. Which I can see because they don't pay the Avengers. Ed, Edward as Norton's much, also but, kind of a douchebag. Like. I have like you ever him. heard a? Po- I love him as an actor. Have you ever heard a positive story about him from no. like on stage? No, like you never hear him doing charity work. Like everything is like, oh yeah, no, he was the worst person to work with, and you're like, oh okay, yeah. I love you, Edward Norton. <laughs> I'll happily. Oh, every, every movie. One well, day. it's funny. Every movie he's in, he's phenomenal. Best and part I love of Birdman, him. I think. Oh, Bird Birdman is. You know what? I would really be excited if Marvel did something like Birdman. They, come on, a, no, like a, 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 <laughs> that's a you're reaching with that. No, one. no, like a, they, like they a superhero story. The kids and family. No, but like a superhero story with a really unique twist to it. That would be DC. They will be okay. the ones to take those. Well, chances. regardless, I would love if they somebody. somebody took that chance. Like, yeah, because Birdman. I mean, I'd watch that a couple times because so technically funny. a phenomenal film, All acting right. incredible, uh, and the story was really good on it too. And if you could do something with that, I think they could have a. I think it'd just be an interesting movie that if they, because I mean, the amount of money that they're going to make this next year, even if the movies suck, we're still going to go see them. Well, that and plus they have Star Wars, which is making them so much money. Like, it's so yeah. funny to think that they're under the same roof. And you know what will ever happen the time where we start getting bored of them or whatnot? You know they'll pull that Star Wars Marvel crossover trigger. You know if both movies start to, like, go down, that could happen. Have just, you ever... Oh, there's an alternate universe and, like, there's a Darth Vader against... Have Iron. you heard the Patton Oswalt when he was on Parks and Rec? Yeah, it was really And dope. he ad-libbed for the Infinity Wars, crossing over with Star Wars. Yeah. And, like, I was like, you know what? I watched the shit out of that movie. Like, especially, that sounds incredible. Especially because, like, Disney Infinity, they do it. I don't think they'd ever do a big movie like that, but I think they should do that with an animated movie. I think that'd be cute. Because they could say, this isn't canon. This doesn't... This is just for fun. They'd say, like, oh, there's some... <laughs> That's what I think they'll do. Just for yucks. Yeah, it's like Marvel Zombies, right? Like, <laughs> yeah. it doesn't exist, but it's just... Actually, though, turn... Marvel Zombies is a... Pr- have you read them? Yeah, but they're it's not going to happen. It's a pretty good story. No, but, like, I was... <laughs> they're not going to happen. Not like, gonna... I bought it because, you know, at the height of the zombie, like, craze and The Walking Dead was coming out, and I was like, oh, yeah, zombies, Marvel Zombies. And I read it, and I was like, well, the people that works Robert at, Kirkman, this was very good. Yeah, the one of the people that works at Disney is like, no, that's never happening. Not, not as I'd say an anime move, but like we're never making like Iron Man Hulk zombies. Like kids no. watch this, but anyway, anyways, in there, stupid la- kids. Our last two, which surprised me once again. This comes out this year. You think about all these movies we've talked about are coming out in 2016. Uh, May 27, X Men Apocalypse is coming out, which is crazy because I feel like Days of Future Past like just came out. 
Like, yeah. was, wasn't it this year? It was last two last years year? ago, what? but it's already really? out. Yeah. Two years ago? Yeah, it was. 2014. Because it oh, came shit. out along with... Like, it came along with Spider-Man, and it came out at the same time Guardians. Because I remember... Oh. And Winter Soldier. Because that's everyone's favorite is Guardians but and Winter yeah. Soldier. But, like, I hate to be that... I don't, I'm not trying to be a hipster, Travis, but, like... X-Men Days of Future Past was probably my favorite that year. I'm, I I completely admit because I'm biased. I love X-Men. So that's why. But yeah. the whole time travel, um, it was super done emotional. Well. Like super, I was, yeah. I did not, because honestly, even after X-Men 3, mm-hmm. you I thought was, it was it. I, I, yeah, I know. Like, and Wolverine another... Origins too. It's just like the and cherry Wolverine. on top of like Wolverine's. D- don't. Wolverine. I like Wolverine. I no, don't it was, get that it, argument. It was, I think it was an average film. Mm, it I, was, I didn't think it was incredible. I didn't think it sucked. I thought I had some good moments. Uh, I thought, to be honest, there should have been more mat or magic. Uh, there should have been more fighting. Magic. Uh, <laughs> Woo! I wanted that screen magic. Magic no. Mike featuring Wolverine. It's <laughs> <laughs> cut Channing Tatum's head off. Yeah. yeah. No, and like, so after I saw them, they're like, "We're doing an X Men movie," and I was like, "Okay." Like, I, I and I enjoyed First Class, and they're like, "It's gonna be time travel," and I was like, "Holy." F- God damn! Like besides the first Back to the Future, most time travel movies suck because so it kind of gets stuck in paradox. You never read Days of Future Past, did you? No, and so then, good. And then I sat and I and we're watching in theater, and I remember when we walked out, I was like, "Wow, mm-hmm. that was really good." I, I was cried pumped. big time. So now when they and then at the end when they had that teaser for Apocalypse, I was like, "My body's ready." Like, <laughs> My body's ready. I was like. You've done it. You've brought it back, Brian Singer. Yeah. I don't know what magic and that's you why, had to though, do. Because Brian Singer came back. And yeah, he's but a- that being said, I've rewatched the uh, other X Men. They were just on TV one day, and I had yeah. nothing to do. They do not hold up. Don't say that about X Two. <laughs> X Two no. holds up like a no, motherfucker. Story wise, yes, but I was watching like the graphics. <laughs> See, and, like, just the, CGI, the graphics, and I was just like. Wow, I well, just I remember thinking when that came out and being like, "This is incredible." Well, because remember, this is what my secretary always gets in a debate with me about: is that she? I made her watch X Men and whatnot. She hates. <laughs> she hates. It's not my girlfriend. It's my secretary. <laughs> when it's showtime, she's the secretary. When she hates X Two, <laughs> she hates X Two, and I had to descri- <laughs> say to her like before <laughs> Iron Man and the Dark Knight came out, that was like that was the pinnacle. Yeah, that was like you. It's X Two and everything else because I remember X. Two had so much stuff, great twists with the Weapon X, and they killed Jean Grey. And like my mm-hmm. favorite scene, yeah. I'll cry every time, is when Jean Grey dies and Cyclops tries to get off the plane, and Wolverine's like holding him back, and he's like, he's like, she can't be dead, and it's like Wolverine holding this man that he fucking hates. But they hug each other because they're just so destroyed that Jean yeah. died, and they're crying together. And yeah. every time will get me because it's just this perfect scene of like these men love this woman, women, and they put their personal side because they're a woman. And they just say, like, oh, man. But, like, they put it aside because they're just so hurt. And it's that favorite scene. It's one of my favorite scenes of all time. It's the same as, like, uh, a terrible movie. But when Gwen died in Spider-Man 2, that almost got me. Cause when really? They, that oh, did. yeah. That, that got me. Oh, got me. That I think more, me. too, because just they were dating, such a too, at the same movie. time. Yeah. Like, I, I felt, I was like, oh, you're, like, reacted really well. But this is also your fault. You deserve this Spider-Man for doing so much. No, it was her choices. fault. Because she's like, I'm going to no, help you I out. Still, I still blame Spider-Man. Yeah, maybe. And but, Andrew Garfield. Anyway, so I'll talk Stone's my girl. Yeah. So yeah, I was like, oh no, she's dead. But I can blame Andrew Garfield, so it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> but I almost cried. But apo- what did you feel that. about the Wolverine Soul movie and the last X Men movie? I thought they were really good. Yeah. So I liked them both. No, you didn't. No, what? Don't. You? Don't. He liked I, Future's Past. I, I like think Future Past. You liked though. Origins? No, uh, what, just the Wolverine. Like, oh, so oh, Wolverine. okay, sorry. No, yeah. no one like Orange. <laughs> yeah, I'll like, still watch it. I was, just, I was like, shut your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, or I'll do what they did. <laughs> they did to Deadpool. Sew it up. The yeah. most iconic part about his character. But yeah. yeah, so you're you're down for like, you don't know what Apocalypse. Pretty much Apocalypse. He's the very first moon of all time. Oh, okay. He wakes up and he's just mad at this point that. Because it looks like in this movie that mutants and humans are finally starting to get along. Mm. And he's kind of like, what the fuck, guys? You dropped the ball. Like, <laughs> you're supposed to kill all the humans. Like, that's pretty much what he does. And he's yeah. like, in this movie, like, he's going to take, which I don't know if I Who's like playing this. playing Apocalypse, by the um, way? Oscar Isaacs, who is like Man, the next got, big thing. Yeah. yeah. Well, did you see uh, Star X-Men, Wars? X-Men, X-Men, I'm going to say it right No, you keep telling me to. It's on it's, Netflix. Yeah, I'm going to. Really I get laid good. off in two weeks. Okay. It's happening. <laughs> I'm, I'm watching X-Men. I'm getting laid off. Yeah. Um... But yeah, I Apocalypse is gonna be great. My only holdup is he's making a uh, Fastbender slash Magneto on the Four Horsemen. So I hope it's not like Hawkeye, where Fastbender's just like zombie the whole time of yeah. just like that's my only thing. But I think Singer's back, everyone's back. Rumors are Wolverine will be back. I think it's gonna be good. So it's just one of those things that like it's just the same thing. It comes out like it goes Deadpool, then the month after Batman versus Superman. 
and then it goes. Well, what is the timeline? Because Warcraft's in there too, which is, I know it was being released in June. Uh, That's it's right. I'm like, super excited there. for that one. So like, I didn't I think like the trailer. I thought it was all right, but it didn't get me as a yeah. non Warcraft fan. Not like see, I what I think. I'm not behind it either. Well, see, yeah. that's it the was thing. Like, what I think they oh, tried to do. Lord of the Rings straight to DVD movie. Well, that see, that's what people are saying. <laughs> and I think what they try to do is they try to make it look generic. So that they could people that aren't Warcraft fans are like, oh, yeah. like this looks like it'd be a fun movie. Which I think that's what they did last Batman Superman trailer that we didn't like. Yeah. I think that was for like our moms and dad, like, oh look, they're gonna team up in the end. We yeah. should see this. Like, and, yeah, and, and that's that's what I think they did with that rip. one. Whereas, <laughs> yeah. yeah, whereas like like I'm like I played WoW. I played all the RTS games. Like I'm like. I'm a Blizzard fanboy without a doubt, yeah. so I'm gonna go see this movie. And mm-hmm. Duncan Jones is doing it. And they got some good actors in it. Like, I know that I know the story. Yeah, and it's the it's a fir- prequel to the story. No, not even because that's this is the exact for Warcraft One. This is the story that it followed. So it's I've been informed wrong. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a prequel to WoW, but yeah, and, that's and, that's what I mean. Yeah, which yeah, which is a sequel. So it, yeah, uh, and it's a pretty basic story because the way that it started off in the first video game, it was uh, demons like orcs. I thought uh, you just like humans. fight each other. There's well, more behind yeah, the story. There's, there's more yeah, because and then you find out in the second one that that's was, what they tell me. Yeah, oh, it, was, it was the Burning Legion uh, had say. corrupted the orcs and turned them with fell magic into these bloodthirsty killers. It kills the world that they're on, so that's why they open a portal to Azeroth to invade it. And the actual idea for the orcs is to not actually just be like mindless killers. Is they're trying to make a place so that they can live in peace. But when they meet the humans, the first thing the humans do is attack them because they're also they just start attacking each other, and it just kind of like exploits. It's. It, I'm trying to give you brief. I'll I'm giving see everything it away because it's my job to see it. But like, <laughs> none of that is like, man, I need to see this movie. It's like no. I'm gonna see it because I'm curious. But like, I'm I gotta not see, gonna see it at all. Tra- no, you're, like, you're, you're coming with us. It's not not Chicago. <laughs> yeah, be cheap so, some, somebody's got to be able to like. I'm just gonna be like just nerd now, just tweaking. So lastly, but least, I left this um, to last because we already talked about it, but been the beginning. But it's Captain America: Civil War. Um, Lego. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, I, I, I tra- you go first, Kyle. What did you like about the trailer? man? I thought it was so awesome. Like, I just like the whole fight scene and like him. It's like ha- having to choose between it. It's either you're going to choose between him or you're going to choose between like Iron Man. Yeah. Oh, sorry, what's um, Bucky Barnes? Rookie Barnes. Yeah. yeah, it's like yeah, he fucked you over, but he's. You still have to help him out because he's what your brother or something like that. No, it's his best, best friend. friend. Best friend. Up. That's why you gotta watch Cap One. You might actually have to before Winter Soldier because there are people that are like, "What the fuck's going on?" Yeah. Did you see Cap Two? No. That you you actually oh, have man, to watch that was it. That, that was actually I it's so really far good, I think right? probably the one of the best Marvel films. Like it's Guardians. It's in the top three. That Avengers, and Avengers and, and Cap, Cap Two. Oh, okay. Or Cap Two. Sorry. Yeah. Cap Three should be up there. Yeah. So uh, David Howard is gonna be sick. Captain America binge pretty soon here. Yeah. 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 No. Well, you know what? It's funny because Dylan hadn't seen it either. You know what? Maybe we'll get like we'll do our first crossover episode that one. We'll do like the dynamic duo on our geek first one. That's where because it Kirkland and Dylan are like I have not seen them because like. Fuck Captain America. <laughs> like that's yeah. right. So maybe we'll do that. We'll all get together and watch you know, that. Though, there's, I just have like, I don't know if it's nostalgia, but something about like 1940 American heroes, like Indiana Jones, Captain America fighting Nazis yeah. for like, even in Hellboy when they did it. I don't know why. That's just like, no matter what it is, no matter how stupid the plot line is, if, if, I don't care if it's a sci-fi channel original movie, I'll watch it. But like, you're a fan of your history though. You like history. But, but, it, but even then, look at Call of Duty, like Nazi zombies. That yeah. picked up like nothing, right? Yeah, like, well, it's, you know, I, there's just something... Too. Like one, like yeah, they're a classic villain. But when it comes they're to classic, villain. <laughs> classic, <laughs> I can't remember the <laughs> uh, I, I think when it just when it comes down to like the, the supernatural aspect of it, yeah. and like when you kind of read about the weird things that some of the officers were into, yeah. and it's so it doesn't feel like it's that far no reaching. Well, that's why they chose it. Like, yeah, Stan Lee. Yeah, and yeah. I think I, so. I just think it's it just excites me. Like yeah, did Cap one suck? Yeah, yeah it kind of. It did. didn't suck. It was to me mediocre. Where they had yeah, some well, really good stuff, but some it stuff sucks that's... in comparison to what else they've done since yeah. then. But not but once like, again, not a terrible movie. It's kind of like a guilty pleasure almost. Oh yeah. yeah. So it's kind, of, it's kind of like my Agents of Shield. Yeah, fair yeah, enough. It's it's my guilt. We I, can I argue like about it, that but later. But <laughs> one thing I will say, yeah, we'll do a TV one maybe once you're finished, Jessica Jones, Daredevil. You know, but what I was gonna say, the best part about that movie is seeing Chris Evans become Captain America he did a really good job as yeah. like small Steve Rogers and then Captain that, like, obviously I know it's CGI just, but like just like the dots and, and the then body. yeah and then did they just like physically like do it kind of like they did in Lord of the Rings with the Hobbit it's like he stood away so he looked smaller or what? I don't know yeah I, anyways it, just, it, it did look it looked really good <laughs> actually when they did yeah no they did so I 
No, I, I'm the same way. I'm pretty hyped. I love the trailer. You talked about this, I think, before we yeah. started casting, but my favorite part of that trailer is like, oh, I can't do this. He's my friend. And then yeah. Tony's like, so was I. Yeah. And he's like, almost about to cry. And yeah. it's like, yeah, it's like, oh, man. And like, <laughs> the best part, too, is when Cat or like Iron Man's going to fight both him and Bucky. Yeah. And they're casting the shield back and forth and just being That was sick. Shit. Yeah, like, it is great. Like, yeah. and that's the same thing. I hope Marvel is smart enough, not like DC. Spider-Man's in this movie. I don't want to see him at all. Till yeah, I movie. liked how they did yeah. show him. <laughs> Hashtag where's Pete. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. If they don't... Sh- where's Pete? <laughs> if, <laughs> if I don't see him till we see that movie, I'm completely fine. We know what he looks like. Just yeah. leave it alone. Mm-hmm. I love the shot, too, of Black Panther that he's actually outrunning Captain America. It's, it's like, uh, Crossbones is in it, too. Yeah, you can see. Yeah, he's in the background. Apparently and Baron I Zemo, love Black Panther. Apparently Baron Zemo's in this movie as well. Really? No idea where he's going to fit in. He's a villain, you'll see. But, like, I think it's... That'd be cool. I think... They're just sent off like another cat movie movie. The, I think okay, the only thing I didn't like about the trailer, and I know you guys are going to disagree with no. me. Oh, no. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> is when it kind of shows the two sides going against each other, and you do a shot of them like they're like running. It, it just looked like it was on a rooftop, uh, and it's like Captain America's side and uh, Tony Stark's side. And it just kind of looked like, oh, you kind of just did that shot for like the trailers. Like, yeah, that's you why. Guys are, you guys oh, are superheroes. You know what? Thinking like, about that, that's probably why Batman vs. Superman didn't want to do that. Because it just would have felt like a Captain America. Well, it, it felt like there was a in the scene and, of the Avengers when he does that long shot of when yeah. it goes around all of them. Uh, then in the second one when they're jumping over like in the forest in the snow, whatever, yeah. uh, and it shows all of them. That's what it kind of felt like. It almost felt just like we got everyone. They need to do and that though. They do, but it just the way that it's set up, it kind of reminded me of the cartoons. And it was like they would meet on like a plane. You know, just like an empty area, and they would line up like it was a civil war. I think and just run. I don't think that's an empty area. I think we're you know that is probably the shield helicarrier. But it is a civil war. Oh no! I'm alone. I don't, I'm. And that's why Kyle's here. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but I don't know. That to me, that just like especially for superheroes, like half can fly, half can't. I think and, like, you just have. I, to do I'd that. like to know, like, because I mean, like. I would do I that. It looks epic. Yeah, if I had them, like, you guys line there, you guys line there, and then fucking run at each other, and we're <laughs> yeah. shooting the same. Right over, right over. <laughs> yeah, it's, like, it's like Red Rover on steroids. Like, yeah. Yeah. I call Iron Man over. Yeah, with a $100 million budget. Probably yeah. even more. Like, I, 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 I get your point. There's definitely, like, a kind of a cheese factor, too, but it's one of those things, like, you gotta do it. Like, you but then, then you have that scene, and then you have, like, Bucky Barnes, uh, and, well, I guess we'll just call him the Winter Soldier, and Captain America fighting Tony Stark, was like, that was I was great. like, I was like, damn, dude, that looks sick. Yeah. yeah. Especially as Tony Stark's on the knee, and, like, you can tell, like, he's really, he's, he's trying. trying everything, and you're like, like, man, like, the stakes. If like, they just released that scene, I'd be like, boom, I'm seeing this movie. Like, I'm yeah. seeing it regardless, but, like, that scene alone was just, like, great. Yeah, like, I, there's just... Like it's, I think it's, I think it's going to be really good. The one thing mm-hmm. that I think they're going to have a problem with, which you can do it in comics, I don't think you can do it in a movie just because run times are a factor, is that they're going to be fighting for screen time. You kind of saw that in the second Avengers. Yeah. Like, you mm-hmm. have, like, all these really great actors and all these really great stories. And, like, w- that being said, if they just got rid of the stupid Hulk, Black Widow love affair, because that's fucking yeah. stupid. Uh, that was a pain. Yeah. And, like, have more exposition for each other because like yeah you've read the civil war comics right? yeah so, i love them yeah and like it's uh i'm kind of happy they're not doing it how they did in the comics like it was the, with the, 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 the tv show with the cheap villains and yeah but, it uh, wasn't the greatest that's a comic like it's one of my favorite storylines but it wasn't the most well executed but it has some of the oh, best yeah, moments and, like that spider-man moment i won't spoil but yeah. it is one of my favorite comic and moments that's why like if time. they can take that time and not have stupid love affair uh, there won't be. I they're, think this they're is goddamn well better. I think this be, is just them fighting and like story sprinkled in. I don't think. But I, I there's going to be no character development though, because uh, other like, than Tony and you know um, Cap. Yeah, before like we were uh, we were talking about Fallout Four. Whereas like uh, when it comes to your choices, like it it's just gray area. Yeah. There's really no right. There's really no wrong. It's kind of how you feel, and that's what this is. Captain America and Tony Stark both have ideas. That you're like, yeah, I I could get behind that. Fuck Tony Stark. <laughs> I'm Team Cap all the way. Hashtag America. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but and I really want them to explore that, like that Tony Stark does feel terrible about creating Ultron, and that's one of the reasons why he believes in the registration system. Whereas Captain America is like, no, I fought against stuff like this, yeah. and it's just like they're both doing it because they think they're good, and that's why villains are good. If you can see. Which is, it's funny that That's the Joker... Like yeah, that. and it's funny that the Joker is actually so popular because a good villain is you can see why he does what he does. I think he's the exception to the rule because he's just so out there. That's why it's because it's like not the whole like... And it's never with him. It's never... He never just fully wants to destroy the world. He just kind of wants to 
have fun with Batman. So I think... Yeah, I feel like they should just be roommates. It's one of, it's one of those things I've always... <laughs> best roommates ever. <laughs> I've, I've always said that. Like, the best films are the ones that you see the, the purpose behind them. But Joker is that exception where he gets away that just because there's something about him because people have written him so well. And it's just... Yeah. It's just... Bec- I don't know. It, it's just... It is just because he's just unique. There's not You can't put your finger on the Joker and it's just he's just perfect and it's just maybe yeah. that's why too because and maybe that's why because he never actually he's like, not like oh I'm here to destroy the world if he's going to destroy the world it just kind of pops up like hey I think I might blow up this building I think that's why it's never like a grand plan right yeah. it's just well and that's the people you go lose back and, their minds yeah which then again you never know that could be his grand plan salty <laughs> that's someone been, is salty over there that's been the way yeah, I've always looked a, at it quote from the Dark Knight so he says when he's dressed as the nurse. Oh, because right. Because plan, people just lose their minds. But then that's the way I look yeah. at it is like, it is all a plan. That's why I almost like him. Because even though Joker's like that, I think him being crazy is still like his sort of plan thing. So Yeah. But, but that's why I really want them to develop that storyline. Yeah. You do see that this is very conflicting. This There is no right answer. And that it really splits, you know, all the, the heroes that you know and love yeah. down the middle. And you gotta and, pick. And, and that's why it is such a compelling thing. Mm-hmm. Like... I'm and in a good way that, like you said, both sides feel a good reason. I never want, even though it's a cat movie and I'm with him, I don't want it to just feel like Tony's an outright like villain. I want him to be the antagonist, but I don't want him to be yeah. like, let's fucking kill Steve. Like, I've had enough. Like, I want it to be, like you said, like very both sides. Well, And, and I also like that their point is we're not going to go and kill each other either. And like in the comic books, which I don't, obviously they're not going to do in the movie, as they go to the Infinity Zone? Is that whoa? Well, which scene are you talking about? In the Civil War, isn't that where they go to fight so that nothing gets damaged? Oh yeah, and like the Clone Thor shows up, and he is, like... is it the Infinity Zone? I or think so. I can't remember. I have not read it in so long. Yeah, it's it, it's been a while for me too. But like, and I think that was part of it too. Is like, no, we don't want anything. Like, like New York was like. I mean, that's the one thing that everybody makes fun of afterwards. It's like, yeah, you saved the world, but you destroyed New York. Yeah. How many billions of dollars is that going to take? It's kind of interesting. Even like Jessica Jones, they drop that like, quite a bit too. Yeah, yeah. they drop little like yeah. all the what are they always called the incident, right? The yeah, incident yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. Which, and, like, yeah. I, I just love that they leave Earth, and their goal is like, no, we're trying to get you to see it our way, and yeah. that's what both sides are doing. But it's never like, oh, we're just going to go kill each other, and it doesn't like fill with pointless deaths of of characters. Like everything, everything has a meaning. Like it just, it's just, it's very well done. And I think if they can do it properly, it's going to make an incredible movie. Yeah, I think. Unfortunately, I think one character has to go, though. Maybe as oh, without a death. doubt. And I don't know if it's Cap. I still feel like they should say well, it. That's like, what I mean by like a meaningful death. Yeah. Because it, it, I, not necessarily concludes the story, but it really hits home with it. It's not just like, hey, we got a whole bunch of like, yeah, like grade B heroes. They're like, oh, we just start killing those guys. Yeah. yeah. Like Hawkeye, I'm sure he can. Sorry, die. Scarlet Witch. <laughs> yeah, I like but they never yeah. called Scarlet Witch. Or, uh, they will. They will. They'll get around to it. But yeah. Yeah. No, I'm. Yeah, I'm. I'm very excited. I, I thought it was a good trailer. I didn't really have much negatives. Like I just, th- there's just one part in the trailer that I was, th- I was thinking they were maybe look making Tony look too sympathetic, and then they have like a bunch of shots of like him with the injured Don Cheadle, and then him like doing the "You were my friend." So I hope it's not too much. Because he's always their main cash cow. Yeah. I hope they don't back out and be like, oh, at the end of the day, like Tony still has to be like a good guy, you know? So I hope they like stay balls to the wall. And I think they will. I, I think they will. So now after talking about all these, I put these, and this was just assuming, but I had a feeling after we talked about all these of like ranking them from excitement level. So, because that was the whole point of this. Okay, so I, j- just name them again so they're in our heads. Do you want me to name them? In, just, just in order. Just in, so, yeah. in the order that I thought. That this was going. I was going to say just in general, but yeah, why don't you do your order so I yeah. can actually remember all the movies that we talked about? Because this is how I thought it was going to go down. As I'll probably just name the top three because these are the ones that will stick with me. I thought yeah. this was like the overall. Like you'll see. I think I think I made a good list. Yeah. Gambit's last because yep. there's so, nothing. Yep. There's Gambit no was going to be last. Kyle doesn't even know who he is. Barely. <laughs> there's no photo or anything like that. I put Doctor Strange second last because same thing. There's no trailer, so you you can be excited by the cast, but there's nothing to really mm-hmm. grasp on. Nothing like that. Yeah. And then this was the only one where I went back and forth between X Men and Suicide Squad. The rest are I'm for sure, but what would go like like oh, after probably that? Suicide for Squad. For you Suicide Squad, <laughs> what would you want to see more? Like same thing, theater, gun your head, Suicide Squad or Apocalypse. You'd probably Apocalypse. I'd probably see X Men. The Apocalypse. Okay, so Apocalypse. as a group we'll put that I think on I, it's the same Batman Civil War thing for me. I would pick Apocalypse for quality, but because Joker's my that- 
Tyler uh, Batman. Yeah. yeah, so 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 far it's Gambit, Strange, Squad, X Men, and then I put Batman versus Superman, and then I put Civil War, and then I put Deadpool because I feel like yeah. all in unison we. Like, we were talking about, like, oh, if it could bar or not, but really as far as, like, excitement level. Yeah, I'd, I'd go Deadpool, Batman, Superman, Civil You're War. You're more excited for Batman than Civil War. I, I'm ex- I We know Civil War is going to be good. But we I think. But we know what Batman vs. Superman, we know the movie. You know the story, yeah. but, but we they, know. They, if they, it was the Comic-Con trailer, that last one, that was, like, But see, boom, no, no, how but excited now. I am for it, I'm really excited for it. Yeah, do I know the story? Yes, but I think it has the potential to be really good, and I think could change DC's fortunes with That's this. Fair. Uh, whereas Civil War, I know is going to be good. Am I pumped for it? Yeah, I am. But we kind of know how the quality level is. We Marvel's established that bar. We know it's not going to dip below it, so we know it's going to be a, at least meet it or be above it. Yeah. Uh, and then I would go uh, Doctor Strange then, because yeah. I'm I'm actually really excited about it. Just. I almost kind of fit the fact that we haven't seen a trailer or a poster or anything. Kind of suits the character a little bit. Yeah. Uh, but you have that. And then, what else do we have? Uh, well, Gambit, it's nowhere on your list. Well, no, I'll, I'll put Gambit last. Suicide Squad. And then Suicide Squad's got to be at six. It's like uh, second last? Yeah, second wow. last, because I just think it's going to be terrible. Uh, <laughs> what was it? What was the other one that was coming up? Oh, and then X-Men Apocalypse. See, that's that's the thing. Like, I'm putting it low on the list, but that doesn't mean I'm not excited about I it. I think it's... Coming I'm out just, in a bad year. Yeah, I think I'm just I'm more excited That's about. True, true. We're also getting another Star Wars film this year too. Yeah, Rogue, Rogue One. One's coming out in December. Yeah. I think what? that. Yeah, yeah, next year. So like it goes Star Wars this year, and then next year it's Rogue One. It's a prequel, but it's like and they're calling it not. It's not going to be those type of prequels though. It's an anthology movie. It's and it's a prequel <laughs> about the original characters. Like, oh, like you'll a, see. Like, I uh, think well, you know be Red good. Squadron uh, from uh, New Hope. Yeah. So uh, it's about them. I yeah, think so it'll I be think, good. I think yeah. And uh, it's the same guy that I'm man, pretty sure. Milk in that Star Wars. Star, yeah, oh, and then and they then, say there's at least gonna be a movie, like a movie one movie every twenty for the next twenty years. A movie a year. Wow. You'll be sick of Star Wars in twenty years, but yeah. you won't. I won't be. But like, you, they, Disney bought that. They're gonna get every dime they can. Well, because what that, they're doing is I'm they're doing uh, the J.J. Abrams trilogy. Yeah. Plus they already. It's have not the J.J. Abrams trilogy though. He's not. Also, that's right. He's well. I'm gonna call it the J.J. Yeah. Abrams trilogy. But he's I just wish doing he was directing both. And then so he's got that trilogy there. Then they have the Rogue One. Uh, they have a Boba Fett movie and a Han Solo movie. That those are rumored to be together. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. we're, regardless, those ideas are out there. So yeah, yeah a lot yeah. of that's coming. And like, then the rumor is they haven't said what the third spinoff movie would be, but the rumor is they're, they're talking to e, uh, Ewan McGregor to come back as Obi Wan and do a prequel with him. Like a Clone fun. Wars type feel? No, I think it's like an in between three and four type of. Well, deal. Have you like uh, the animated series Clone Wars? What? No, but like I've not seen them. I want to, but apparently like the movie wouldn't be about that. It'd okay, but Obi Wan in between three and four, and like what he's that'd doing be interesting. Tomorrow. Yeah, uh, mm-hmm. but. Yeah, and then you just so we got all those comic book movies that I'm pumped for. The Warcraft movie, you got Star Wars coming out. Uh, the Coen Brothers have that new comedy that's coming out. Yeah. Like you said, uh, Power Rangers. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm gonna put the Revenant in there because it comes out on the 25th of December. No, it might... comes out the same day as Star Wars now. Oh, they, oh, did they change that? Yeah. Okay, well, rip. Yeah. I'll yeah. still see it. But yeah, I'm next still gonna day, see it because I think weekend. it's gonna be incredible. Next but uh, yeah, I'll see it on the cheap Tuesday. Mad Max sequel whenever that comes out. Yeah. So like the, this like. Even like last year, like okay, yeah, the Terminator suck, yeah, the Jurassic World suck, yeah. But the fact that those movies are being made, plus like Ant Man, the Avengers, like, and you what heard... a time to be like a movie fan. Yeah, and they're doing a King Kong Godzilla crossover. You heard this? Yeah, but oh no, I want to see it. <laughs> That's not the reaction you expected. <laughs> no, I you just... can't see his face, but man, did it look sad. Because <laughs> to me, I just want to see him fight. Like, I don't need a story. Like, that's to me the popcorn type of movie where I'm like, let's just see the big monkey. You know what though? Like, because we saw the last Godzilla together. Yeah, we did. If if you took out Aaron Taylor Johnson's character, that movie would have been sick. Oh, True. he was awful. But I, I feel that was the way it was written and directed. I don't, I don't necessarily know. put that Let's on Let's have him. Brian Cranston. Yeah, he's in this movie. Sweet. Yeah. Oh, it should have been the reverse. Five, the sun should have been. Ten minutes? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And also, like, you're, you're like, a, both your parents are, like, physicists at a nuclear reactor in Japan. Like, they got obviously got a hand because they're there. And then you join the army. Yeah. Oh, it's like a basic infantryman. Like, I don't oh. agree on the Taylor Johnson thing. I think other than Kick-Ass, name me something good he's been in. That he's been good in, like that stood out. Oh, there was a net. Like, I think about all... Avengers even. Like he is Quicksilver, not because other Quicksilver is so good. It was like meh. Nowhere. Thank you. That's the one that I was thinking of. Uh, no, I, I think I think he can be good because he was really good in Kick Ass. But I just feel like, uh, like we talked about some of those guys that they just trying to push. I feel like they are trying to push him. Yeah. And he's just got to be careful that he doesn't pick shitty movies. Kind of reminds me of uh, I I don't like him. He was in The Conjuring. 
and he was in Insidious. Patrick Wilson. Patrick Wilson. I like Patrick Wilson. He's so bland. Like, <laughs> and Conjuring Two comes out next year. Yeah, see, yeah. there's another good. And so I'm sure and Guillermo del Toro has a film coming out soon. And fuck, Incredibles Two, Toy Story Four. Oh, that's 4. right. Incredibles Whoa. Two is until 2018. Why hasn't taken it so long for an Incredibles movie? Because you'll want it even because more. Because he now. can't find his super suit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine with Toy Story Four. I, that's my favorite animated franchise of all time. I know Three had a perfect ending, but yeah. they say they have like an own separate sort of story. And you know well, what? They they did say they planned Three to be the last one, but they said one day in a meeting they just had this idea and they're like it's so good we couldn't sit on it so that's why i i i, I, I don't i don't pixar with i trust yeah with the exception of cars 2 yeah, which on okay fuck cars 2 okay, fuck car- cars in general no i, I, like I quite like the first cars. Cars. you like any car <laughs> i love cars you would just like a picture of a car Kyle. he doesn't even count he's like a, he's like a car addict yeah, like that instead was like of a porn Facebook he looks at video of cars this is legit <laughs> he jerks off to top gear <laughs> yeah. Yeah. story of my life <laughs> no but uh it would even that did Cars Two suck? Yeah. If DreamWorks had made Cars Two, you'd have been like, yeah, okay, whatever. Because Pixar made it, it's it, it hurt that it sucked. But like, Toy Story was something that was. And I was thinking about this the other day because like Toy Story Three, I broke up in theaters. Like when they all uh, you broke up spoilers. the girls. No, 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 you're like, no, I've only really like, seen half of Toy Story Three. <laughs> it's at really? the end. Liam's like, it's over, and he runs. Out of <laughs> yeah, the movie. No, us. <laughs> yeah. no, you've uh, never you, seen you, the you end of Toy Story Three. <laughs> no. Oh my god. Okay, well, I'm, 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 it, is. it is the greatest Pixar movie. Regardless, of all time. there's a moment where all the toys hold hands. Yeah, that's all I'll say. And like, I was like, holy crap. And the last thing you see with Andy, I fall the whole time in the theater. Because we're we're all the same age. It. So the first Toy Story, when he's like, oh, I love my toys. That and that's us. when That's when us. And then the second one, he was kind of going away from it. And Getting then, older. And then when it came out. It was out, still us. Yeah, when yeah, I came yeah. out, I was in grade, tw- or we were in grade 12 when that, uh, or the end of grade 11, whatever, when that thing came grade out. Grade 2 or 3? Uh, no, end of grade, like, high school. But like, no, grade 2 12. or 3. 3. Okay, I was going to say, because 2 came out like middle school yeah, years. Yeah, yeah, and then uh, and and three, that was, yeah, like, and I came out he's getting ready to leave for college, and he's getting yeah. rid of his toys, and yeah. like, that, it just kind of hit me. That obviously, you know, they made these movies with us, but even with Monsters Inc. too, how Monsters University came out while we were like, at least I'm in university, university yeah. and you're like, and it's just like it's that time of life, and you're like, God damn it, Pixar! Like, so I assume Toy Story Four is gonna be Andy has kids, so, it's something along mm-hmm. those lines. No, and, I don't think Andy's in it at all. Well, but I think it's gonna follow that trajectory of maybe life story. but i don't think i think they'll still be that bonnie chick i think there's something else yeah, i mean i'm gonna go they see it. say it's it. about like, they say it's a love story so for some reason i feel ooh. they find out where bo peep is and woody's like i need my lady back and he's gonna well go that's true because bo peep yeah yeah that's what i think they've not confirmed it but they say it's a love story they so also think, haven't confirmed that i have a strong suspicion that wreck it ralph was a pixar film and that brave was a dreamworks film and that they switched and then brave won the oscar and wreck it ralph didn't which was they're cool. both I love Pixar. Wreck-It no, Ralph. No, Wreck-It Ralph was not a Pixar film. That was DreamWorks. Really? Yeah. Are you sh- uh, no, pa- you're wrong. I'm positive. No, you're wrong because it's an infinity. No, look, look it up. I'm no. positive you're that wrong. it's not Pixar. They could, they could well, regardless, it's not Pixar. It, they have their producers, though, at least. And they I, have their I, I, I don't think they are. I love Wreck-It Ralph. Wreck-It, Wreck-It Ralph, Ralph was incredible. so good. Like, like I, oh, man. Like... I almost uh, put a sticker that said Turbo Tastic on my car. You're gonna lose this. <laughs> you're gonna lose this. I, yeah, by Walt Disney Animation Studios, Walt Disney Pictures, and Pixar. It is a Pixar. Okay, what did movie. Pixar? What did Pixar have to do with it though? What? It's their movie. No, it's but they, flat out their movie. No, there's no way Wreck-It Ralph is a Pixar movie. Why do you say that? Uh, because I was. Po- I I know that you have. <laughs> I know it's part of. I know Disney it produced has it. To, yeah. But so I mean, this is obviously it's not DreamWorks. But I don't think. Pixar. It was actually part of Pixar's lineup. Okay, maybe it's not a Pixar movie. Let me go Pixar films. Yeah, because because like, it's just like when we're talking about those girls online. That's not actually a Bethesda game, but it's by Bethesda property because okay, it's Zenimax. Also, what do you think of the Good Dinosaurs? Okay, Speaking of Pixar movies. I have. You're right. Wreck-It Ralph is just a Disney movie, but that's uh, still fine. That's yeah, still great. But I I think that uh, like they just have yet to make a bad film. Yeah. Uh, you know what I'm excited for is the third How to Train Your Dragon. I know oh, that's coming out soon. What? Uh, the just not the, the first one I saw was like meh. Did you see the second one? The second no. one was incredible. No. Like to me, it was I'm too like, busy watching Inside Out. You know what? 
Oh, that was a great film. Uh, but seen... Kate, honestly, you gotta, uh, what's you're you're not on your Pixar game, bro. No. Have you seen How to Train Your Dragon though? Yeah, I've seen I mean, that that was, Pixar. That was like See, I don't no. have kids but anymore. I, I don't matter. have kids anymore. <laughs> you you anymore? Have, what happened? I don't hang with my little cousins as much as I used <laughs> I don't to. I have like, kids anymore. Yeah, I, 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 I watch. Know. I have cats. They're my kids. <laughs> like I watch Toy Story, but like that's about it. Because it's or Finding Nemo. Because I grew up with that. right? Yeah, just Incredibles. I grew up. Go to the late show where there's no kids. Go with like ten. That's the goal. That's the key. Yeah. Like oh, but though that makes. Said, uh, I think my family to buy the, one of the best uh, sequels is How to Train Your Dragon 2. It was kind of like uh, The Empire Strikes Back for Star That's Wars. That's what he said he was aiming for. And it was, and the, you can see it. Like the first one was like, oh, it was good, it was cool. I get established this world, this yeah. lore. And then the second one went here and here mm-hmm. and expanded everything. And uh, uh, of course, uh, no spoilers. There is, is that a death in everyone it. had dragons and stuff. Like yes, that? Oh, and there's okay. a death in it. And it's I was like, How and to like, Train Your Dragon, and, it, of course and the death and dragon. hits you. Really, really it's hard. Different from the first one. Yeah, and then so the death hits you really hard, and yeah. then I was like, I was looking it up, and of course, who did it? Guillermo del Toro was like, he came in for a day and was like, you got to kill that character, yeah. like that'll do, and you're like, God damn it, del Toro, <laughs> that will do, Donkey. Actually, that when's his do. next movie coming out? Because I think I he is just not like Crimson Peak. Is I don't phenomenal. know, but everyone, yeah, see Crimson Peak, but yeah, well, that's it for us today or tonight, whenever you're listening to us. Thank you for making us part of your day. This is an inaugural episode. This will probably happen. The goal is at least once a month. Could happen twice a month, but like at least once a month, this is the goal to try to sit down and you know talk about comic news, which will for sure be once a month because, like I said, after yeah, there's this, no shortage. Yeah, it, it's always coming. So yeah, this was especially just, when you don't have a job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, oh well, neither do I. <laughs> yeah. So no, like this is uh, Me daily now. <laughs> this, this is the inaugural episode. We just want to touch on like some stuff that's kind of timeless, like the movies coming out, and whatnot. But like, like I said, we're gonna probably get into some themes. Like I said, like perfect casting choice. That's a good topic. Things like that. So go Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> <laughs> we'll probably have one more episode before Deadpool comes out, so you still have time. To Hopefully. Later, but... <laughs> Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, Jan- whatever. But anyways. After him stop crying from Star Wars, because yeah. I'm so excited. Yeah, um, yeah. we'll probably talk about that, that the next time we're on, because we would have seen it by then. Um, but yeah, no, uh, you can follow us on Twitter at GeekverseCast. You can find us on Facebook at Geekverse Podcast. We're on SoundCloud now, so all you Android users, a lot easier. You can just search us. We're right there. Thanks for following us over. Our new episode's been getting a lot of listens, so I'm just happy that people have fallen over. And of course, subscribe on iTunes because this is a perfect example. We have this. We're going to have a rant, rave, repeat show soon. And I, there's been a couple other shows, talks from myself and other Geekverse members. So that's the same thing. Like, good reason to subscribe because we might just drop an episode and there it is. So subscribe. It'll pop up. And yeah, thank you for listening and have a good one. Uh, I guess signing off as the Batman of the dyna- dynamic oh, duo. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Salt over here. Whatever. I'll become Nightwing. Yeah, this, uh, this has been an absolute pleasure to do. It's fun to it talk fun. about this stuff. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and agree with me that James Franco needs to stop acting. <laughs> <laughs> You're really, really on that. Kyle, you want to say anything? Oh, no. It was a good time. I uh, don't know much, but it was great. You contributed. Be- I contributed. Yeah. And that's good, though, because gonna, there's people that are like you that are just yeah. getting into comics and the comic movies that's the same true. thing that don't know this yeah, stuff and you, you land us like for example like uh, I remember going to see this is going to the G.I. Joe movie I played with those growing up they're my favorite toys Yeah, I was losing it I was like I'm so excited to see all my toys on screen whereas like I saw it with uh, my friend Spencer and he was like this movie's fucking stupid you know you ground us from getting too fanboyish yeah because <laughs> we can ask yeah. you if are like oh for you that don't read it what do you think yeah, like, and then, like, I was like game. division yeah where you're like who the fuck is this guy so I know it, it's, it's good you keep us keep us balanced and normal anyways thank you for listening and we'll catch you next time <laughs>